A lot has changed since I had the opportunity to visit Iran in the summer of 2022. From protests to ongoing conflicts, it's a country that is often misunderstood, but also not without its fair share of controversy. That makes it a difficult country to travel to at the moment. But it is also a crucial reason why I wanted to share this trip and my experience in Iran, because it didn't match with the typical narratives. I am diving deep into Iran's history, culture, and food. The Iranian people are some of the most friendly and welcoming in the world. And in this episode, we're especially going to be focusing on the truth about Iran and what makes it so special, the food. The thing that truly binds us together. Let's go. Salad Yaz restaurant. It's boiling here in Yaz, yeah, huh? It's hot. I was a student here. Oh, were you? In Mayport, yeah. In no way. So I was coming here, it was 20, 20 30 kilometers from here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Like Mr. Taster said, this is a massive restaurant. Look, huge dining hall. And over here, on the right, we have another massive room. I think this is for weddings. Look at this gorgeous place. Yeah, of course, it's for weddings. They have a little stage over there. They also have upstairs, they have downstairs, and they have a VIP area. So I think now we're going to the kitchen to see how they make these dishes. I'm hungry, man. Let's go. I'm hungry, too. I'm waiting for Mr. Habichi. He's coming. Okay, we're starting off with some soup. So what soup do we have here? Yeah, it's barley soup, uh, which got barley in it, chicken, mm. carrot, onion, Good, eh? and vegetables. So a very rich vegetable soup. It is very rich, yeah. All right, let's do it. Mm. It's amazing. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee means enough? Enough, enough, <laughs> of course. Oh, we got some bread here too? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, no what is this? Yeah. Local bread? Yeah. We got some lemons. You want some? Yeah. It was super, super tasty. Yeah, it it's is. It's like the ultimate chicken soup. Some salt? Mm hmm. Mix it in. Right now, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do the bread? Yeah, let's do the bread. Mmm. Oh. Soup melts the bread. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's incredible bread. Very nice. A little flaky. Very different from the other ones, right? It's still a little doughy. Yeah. What is this? You got some oil. What is that? Like lemon juice? Lemon juice, yeah. Try it a bit. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good. Oh, I love your country. <laughs> I haven't had a bad meal yet. Not a bad meal. Really? Everything's been delicious. Uh, David, fresh or juice? Yeah. Oh. Wow, nice. So the way it works here is they keep bringing things around in these carts, right? As you can see, the woman's passing by. She came by, she goes, you want some fresh orange juice? We're like, yeah, and then she like, just writes it down that we got it, right? Oh, that's fresh. Mm. Oh my gosh. So I guess they have uh, orange trees in this area, right? But in north of Iran and south of Iran. Oh, that's good. Not the hotel stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, kitchen time. It's exciting because they're going to be making a lot of dishes here. Salam, salam, salam. Salam. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Merci, merci. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, they're making a lot of things here. They got kebabs over here, more kebabs over there. Over here, they're cutting vegetables. I'm going to come back to you soon. <laughs> she wants me to go over there. I'm going to go over there now. Salam, salam. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They're making the kebabs. So they're making chicken kebabs. This is where they're making the kubi day. The kubi day. Yeah. Wow. He's the king in making the kebab. Yeah? He's the skill is phenomenal. Let's see, let's see. Wow. It's like perfect. Pure lamb. Pure lamb. That's the best. No beef. <laughs> no beef. We're gonna get some, right? Yeah. We're getting some kubide? Yeah, of course, we have to. Wow, so we got like seven guys here working on the kubide. 
We have three women doing the chicken. Wait, look at it, it doesn't stop. Look at this, it just keeps grinding meat. Just keeps grinding meat. This could be there, which is 90 grams. It's going to make you low make kebab, which is 220. 220? Yeah. Look at how big that kebab is. So it's three times the size. Do you like lorme or kubide? Lorme. <laughs> yeah, it's three times the size. It's crazy. That's a massive kebab. So how many kebabs do they do per day here? I mean, right now it's hundreds. Uh, 1,500 to 2,000 kebabs every day. Well, me and him are going to eat like a dozen or two dozen. If, if, <laughs> if you get married, 5,000. 5,000 kebabs. <laughs> Amazing. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Oh, oh, a big factory here. Huge kitchen. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, there's uh, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So they're frying potatoes in this huge vat. They got really famous chips. They're serving it with ketchup. No way. It's famous in this restaurant. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, so he's going to show us how they make the potato like that. So they get the water from uh, potatoes and then they put it in the hot water for shucking and Water and then first the oil. So the potatoes have been soaked in water, sitting there, and they strain it. Hot water, cold water, fire. Hello, hello, hello. There, there are more over there. More over there. Oh, oh, so crispy. Mmm, so fresh. And I'm sure the ketchup is like homemade. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The chickens are right. He's the Padisha. Padisha. Yeah, Padisha Emma. Salam, salam. So he's the owner. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Oh yes. This is it. Kubi de, kubi de. They're about to grill all this right here. Look at the amount of kubide. Infinite kebabs. So fresh. I have to have a bite. Oh. oh. The best kubide. The best kubide I've had in yeah. Iran. The best kubide. Oh. It's all lamb. No beef in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was a spectacle, incredible. Way too hot for me to be in this kitchen anymore. I'm ready to eat. Merci, merci, guys, merci. <laughs> my friend, merci, 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 merci. Oh my gosh, too good, too good. More? <laughs> I'm hungry, man, I sweat everything. <laughs> we just started. And here we have oranges like boiling, making it super caramelized for the sweet pulao. Oh, smells amazing. That aroma? Oh, it's gonna be good. Koshmaze means delicious. Delicious for the sati, it has to have this oil. Look at that. It's almost green to black color. So what's this one? This is Jigo, lamb shoulder. Lamb shoulder? Look at that. <laughs> lamb heaven, man. Yeah, lamb heaven. Some sugar on it. Sugar. Wow. Orange. On one of the statue. More rice. More sugar. sugar yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I've never seen this much sugar in a pulao. So many layers in this pulao. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Merci, merci. We're excited. We're gonna eat the kubi there. We're gonna eat like five dishes. I'm super thrilled. Hey, merci. Bye guys, bye bye. Let's go, let's go. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to this. <laughs> All right, yeah, very quickly and very short time it takes Oreo to adopt the Iranian culture, don't worry. <laughs> this is amazing, Hamid. I haven't seen a table this full in so long. So how do we start? This is all lamb. Everything we're eating is lamb, Yeah. right? This is the lamb restaurant. Exactly. Okay, how do we start? The, the heaven of lamb. The heaven of lamb. <laughs> We put it here, and now we're gonna put Heime Yazdi on top, like that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Oh, the lamb, so juicy. 
Mmm, that's doing crispy. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, you can put Damon stew on top or Orman Sabzi or any any other stew on top of the Tadi. It's heaven. It, it, this is amazing. This is so good. Tasty man, super tasty. For David? I'm guessing it's saffron, right? No. It smell of butter. Oh butter. butter. The butter is like straight up melted throughout. Rice, chickpeas, oh, and lamb. <laughs> they keep bringing things. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's really? do it. Yeah. Oh. I love it. The lamb is so tender. Mmm. Nice soft. Chickpeas, right? Yeah, chickpeas. It's really important to wash, you know, chickpeas the night before. They, they make sure that it's uh, wet. So once they're cooking it, it's, it's not bad for their stomach. Okay, so that would be very nice soaked. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is phenomenal. I think that the greatest part about this is not the lamb and chickpeas, it's the butter in the rice. Exactly. It like just enhances so much more flavor, so much more taste, right? I'm not a big butter guy, <laughs> but this clarified butter is so good. It's local butter. Mm. And right next to it, the smell of pomegranate. I think I'm gonna have to serve us a little bit. You want some on the side? Yes, please. Put it here. On top? Yeah. More? No, it's fine. Good. This is gonna be so good, I can smell it. It smells sweet. I'm gonna get another one. The key thing about the uh, Fesan John is the quality of walnuts. Oh, the walnut quality? Yeah, it should be oily. So you can see the oil on top. It's more delicious if the quality is more nice, it's higher. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Mm. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and pasty. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, the lamb balls are so nice. They're like one bite and they drop. Go down so easily. Oh. Mm. oh my. I'm gonna dream of this one. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Mm. I'll have more. Happy that you like it. I'm so happy. You have to get them some of that sauce on the side. <laughs> Just the sauce, you know? It's a nice. Oh, give me the lamb balls. The lamb <laughs> How many you want? Two? No, five, five, five. I'll give you two. Okay, I have the rest, Pega. This restaurant. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, I love it. Stop, we have the pulao. Yeah, yeah. You can have the Oh, we have a spoon right here. So, shirin polo or sweet polo. Sweet pulao. Yeah. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Enough. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have the jigo with it. Oh, yeah, we can? Yeah. Okay, let's get it. Lamb shine. Break it up right here. <gasps> yeah. The lamb shoulder. Look how much meat this oh. is. <gasps> oh, it just falls off. Yeah, yeah. It just falls off. Oh yeah, all the juices. You need the juices for the pulao. And then we still have kubide. We got some bread and then we have the eggplant. So which one you, you're gonna start with? For, uh, dil polo? No. Mali polo or shirin polo? I just want the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the shirin polo. So you mix it always, right? Yeah. Ready. So sweet. Mm. The oranges, caramelized. Mm. Wow. Oh wow. I love it. This is up there with the cherry pulao. Yeah. This one and the cherry pulao, my favorite so far in Iran. Really? Mmm. Yeah, I mean it's super sweet though. Like b besides just the caramelized um, oranges, you also have a lot of sugar yeah. in here. The lamb. It melts. <laughs> it's so tasty. Next one? The bagali polo. Bagali polo. You already tried it. Either way, I'm still gonna eat it, right? Mm -hmm. The fragrance. Mmm. Nice. I got bagali polo. Mm -hmm. I love the beans. They're nice and chunky. Mmm. Mm. 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 Caramelized oranges. Yeah. So good. I can see he's getting full. <laughs> he stopped talking. Yeah. <laughs> so all these lamb were 
from yesterday, right? Super fresh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, these are for Kubide. And these are for lamb shank. Oh, this is Shivo, the lamb shoulder. The lamb because shoulder. That, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> this is for uh, stews. For stews? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Another freezing chamber? Oh no, this is too much. This is where they freeze it. <laughs> you want to go inside? Yeah. Oh gosh. For all the <laughs> This is really cold. This is this is beyond. <coughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh. What's happening here? Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Okay, so we got chicken, we have fish. It's uh, for kebab, uh, chicken kebab. Megu. This is prawns. Prawns there too? Juje bio So these are the freezing chambers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's too cold. It's too cold. Let's it's too cold. I'm are going to close the door. No! Keep you in here on forever. <laughs> We've been in 100 years. <laughs> More freezing chambers. Was he going to show us another freezing chamber? Yeah, freezing chamber. But uh, there is one last in it. You know the stew that you had, Fitz and John? It's, it's for Fitz and John. One last. Also, this is just like all the, the sodas, some nuts. <laughs> These are the, the bones for soups. Yeah? Yeah, look. Bacala sauce. Lubia e porte chaude. Beans. Lochot farangi. Zorrat. Corn. Uh -huh. So it's all oranges that have been diced, right? Then it's all eggplant right here? Balloon. This is cherries, guys. For cherry polo. No more, no more freezing chambers, right? <laughs> I can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> guys, look at all the spices. Oh, oil. sheep oil. Yeah. Look at that. What is that? Curd. That's curd. Yeah. So curd balls, huh? Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Really cold and dense. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Good. In this section, it's all pickles, right? So we have cauliflower, we have uh, carrots, and different vegetables, right? Oh, man, I curd. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but very well healthy, actually. I know, I know, but a little bitter, that one. Mm. And over here, just a lot of sodas. It's massive. This is like IKEA restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that big, it's huge. Oh, and here we have all the pots. And what is this, like flour? It's the rice. Oh, it's rice, it's rice. So it's uh, polo. So what's this? It's um, pomegranate paste. Oh, pomegranate paste right here? Yeah. So we're gonna try this paste. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> you can lick the whole spoon. Mm. Wow. Love it. That's delicious. Can you try one? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Special. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mm. So tasty. Not too sour. No. My friend, merci. Thank you. Merci. Ciao. All right, so we're done with the restaurant. It's been an amazing tour. We've been here for like three hours. That was Tala Yaz, the biggest and most famous restaurant in Yaz. You have to visit this place. Such an incredible experience. We went to the kitchen. We saw so many things were made. Gooby Day, we had. We had Teime Yazdi. We had Fis and John. You loved it. We had Shirin Polo, Sweet Polo. We had lots of stuff, and I'm gonna say thank you to Kutuk. Thank you, Kutuk Travel. Kutuk Travel, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Today we're gonna be seeing how Faluda is made, the most famous Faluda in Yaz. Today we are here in Yaz. We're gonna try the best Faluda Yazdi in Yaz. And if you guys don't know what Faluda is, it's basically like noodles, starch noodles with ice. Sometimes they add sugar, they add rose. I'm excited, I can't wait. I'm excited too. This is Hushang, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go inside. What are we doing? This is the Falude. Right there? Oh my gosh. So Faluda is noodles, right? Yeah, noodles, yeah. Okay. And we got Falude Kermani, we got Falude Shirazi, and we got Falude Yazdi. We are in Yaz, so this is Yazdi. For, for Shirazi, it's longer. The okay. noodle is longer and also frozen. So when you have it, it's like but this it. one is like so soft. I've had faluda in India and in Pakistan, but this is different. This is not the same you're thing. You're gonna love it. It's delivery. 
Oh, it's delivery? <laughs> it's for a customer. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, that's rose water? Bola, bola, bola. Oh, it's gonna be good. So this is the Faluda factory. Small, little restaurant, local restaurant. It's five tables here. There's a huge ice machine. The guy has the Faluda in the back right here, so all the noodles, right? And as you can see right here, they have these ice bowls. So these ice bowls are to either throw away the ice that you got because they always give you a big block of ice, you can throw it in here, or to add more ice. They'll give you ice and then you add it into your bowl. That's right. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're going down to see how they make the noodles. Oh wow. It's all starch, huh? Starch, yeah. So is this wheat starch? Or? Wheat, wheat and starch. Yeah, wheat starch. So it's the starch and water, then mixing it together, and once it's been done, it's going to hot water. And the next step is that. So in one hour time, they put the starch in there, and it's going to come out from here. And they put it in ice, so it gets hard again, and take it upstairs, and then it's ready. Okay, let's go, let's go try it. Okay, you know what, we might see how they cut the noodles later, but right now we're gonna try it. Because they're the factory, people come to buy from them and then sell it in their stores. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so they're selling this one, I don't even know how many kilos that was, but they, they took it out, they put it in this big plastic. 11 kilo. 11 kilo? Yeah. So they put it in a plastic bucket, they put it on the scale, 11 kilos later, they sell it. That's yeah. it, this is, this is amazing. So it's sugar and water, some ice, now you get some rose water, and now I'll get the faluda. More rose. Alright oh, man, it's Faluda time. Oh, yeah, Faluda time. No, the rose. You're gonna get mad after that. I'm gonna get mad? Mm. Oh, the rose. Mm -hmm. Hoshbaka sheet. Hoshbaka sheet. Wow. Oh man, it's so cold. Oh, it's like silky. Oh. It's good. Mm, so refreshing, especially in this heat right now. Mm. I understand why in this part of the world you guys love this. In the heat, <laughs> yeah, you have to have a cold dessert. And they're not really into like sweets like ice cream and stuff. This is different. Yeah. It's starch, it's noodles. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, the rose though, the yeah. rose. Oh, oh. That hits the spot. Are you ready to pass out? <laughs> Let's go on and sleep. <laughs> Look at those big blocks of ice. So they sell the ice to vendors, huh? Woo! I didn't even see the ice storage here. All right, the starch is almost ready to become noodles. Let's go downstairs. This right here is to send up all the noodles straight up without them having to carry it through the stairs. Here we go. Oh, it's incredible. It's crazy. So what happens here is that once the starch is ready, they throw it into this machine. It comes out in super, super thin noodle form, and then it goes into cold water, and the cold water, it hardens. Yeah, because it's hot, and it's cold water, so the, it makes the shock. shake. Yeah, yeah, the shock. So once a section is done, they move it completely to the other side, and you can see it's like a mountain of noodles in here. I feel like I want to grab a little bit. No, <laughs> no. Will he let me? Ooh, it's ice. Mmm. Bland. We need the rose. We need rose water. In the book, I'm Mr. Taster. We need rose water. Yeah, yeah, you need rose water. That's what you said. You would do Mr. Taster. It's really bland. More? What, like here? I'm just gonna get a little piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want. <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> Not like this. Get in the bowl with rose water and sugar. Merci. Thank you. Merci, merci. They're not listening to me. Go with the taster. Watch your head. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, merci, merci, merci. So this delicious bowl of faluda costs only 30 cents. I highly recommend coming here. This was amazing. My man, hey, merci, merci. Merci to you and your family, merci. Let's go, let's go. All right, it's 6 p.m., I'm tired. Let's go to the hotel. Your taster's falling asleep. So what hotel are we going to? We're going to Moshirul Mamor Lake Hotel. It's a really nice hotel here, it's one of the best. 
so Yaz is a small city. Uh, every building is like one or two stories. You have mosque, you have the Grand Bazaar, very similar to how most of the major cities are with those two elements always, right? And then over here we have uh, mountains, right? Yeah, local mountains surrounding this whole city. On the other side, we have one of the greatest desert of the world, Dasht el Lut, with the highest temperature of the world. Oh yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. Salam, 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 salam. Oh, and they have a massage center. Look at this. Yeah, exactly. That's amazing. Wow, love the architecture. Yeah. <gasps> they have like a whole garden here. Look at this. They have macaws. And look at that. In Golan Malaysia Mars. They're hungry, huh? Beautiful birds. For love for you. As soon as we made it through the reception, we got here to the garden. To the right, we have the restaurant. We have some macaws. And then over here, we have this beautiful garden with trees, very lush. Over here to the left, these are all the rooms, right? Yeah. Those are all rooms? Yeah. Very luxurious, deluxe, luxurious. So during the trip, we've been staying at a lot of beautiful hotels. Most of them we get there at night and leave earlier in the morning, so we never really have time to experience them correctly. This one, we have a little more time. We're not filming tonight. We're gonna relax, put the camera down and just chill here. And here's our room. So mine's 410, his is 411, his is 413. Look at my room. Let me see. Be jealous. Romantic. You have a little swan there? <laughs> it's beautiful. And what do you got here? Some more sweets? No more sweets, no man. No more sweets. Yeah. No more sweets. So I have a little relaxing area in the, in the beginning. Nice. You could just hang out here. Extend. Oh, this is nice. Oh, super nice. Well, I got a massive room. Huge. Have a queen size bed, have a TV, have some sweets, have some fruits. Look at this bathroom. Oh, very nice. And a relaxing area. Let's go see what Mr. Kester is. Hey, Ahmed, where are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Tired? How are you? Good, man. That food will fill me up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm full too. They asked us about the dinner. I said, look, we can't. <laughs> no, 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 no more dinner. No, no dinner, <laughs> no, no dinner. Well, that's it, guys. Yeah. We did the faluda. Yeah. And we came here. But the faluda process was amazing. Amazing. You've ever seen that before? No. First honest. time? Yeah, first time. I had it here, but I never saw the process. And that's so it's it. It's 9 a.m. and we're yeah. gonna have like a traditional breakfast here. Yeah, it's really famous here. It's orme pofamor, which is orme is a sliced piece of lamb. You know, ages ago they keep it with fat because there was no fridge. They they put it in a jar and maybe in a stomach as well. So they put in the stomach of lamb and then they close it with the fat so they can, they could use it when it's, it's hot. So that's how they would preserve it. Exactly, let's go. Let's go, this is the restaurant right here, right? So the restaurant dates back uh, 76 years, right? Yes, 76. 76 years, wow, and it's packed. Look at this, guys. This is the entry? Yeah, that's it. That's the queue. That's the queue, my gosh. So people really like this meal, huh? Yeah. Skipping the queue. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tasty knows everyone. Salam, salam, salam. How are you doing? Salam. Oh, let's go. Lentil soup. Oh, lentil soup as well? Mm, it's gonna be so tasty. It's a very tight spot here. <laughs> so they have two things here. They have the lentil soup, and then what else do they have? Uh, it's abadaniyash. Abadaniyash? Yeah. So what is it? I like haven't a, tried it. It looks like a, just a vegetable yeah, stew. Vegetable. Oh, have we ordered yet? <laughs> Not yet. No. Not yet. We're going to kitchen first. Kitchen first? Okay, amazing. Guys, I love this restaurant. Look how beautiful it is. Super historical. 70 plus years old. I love the mosaics. Lots of colors. Food's gonna be awesome. All right, we're going downstairs now. Into the kitchen. If we can get through the line, we can squeeze through here. Oh wow! There's the elevator. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you can find the force of this uh, soap. Oh yeah, yeah, down there. Yeah. All right, my turn. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh yes, in the kitchen. Wow, look at that vat. Yeah. So Ahmed, what's happening here? Yeah, they're making the uh, lentil soup or adasi in this. That's yeah, good. They're going to show you too. This is the process of how they make adasi or lentil stew. Uh, basically, they add lentils into this pot, yes. they add water, and they let it sit here boiling for about 90, 90 minutes. 90 minutes, yeah, exactly. And it takes 90 minutes and it's almost half cooked. So after 90 minutes, it's going to that pot. 
which is bigger, it takes five hours over there to get it completely ready. Oh, so it cooks halfway here and then yeah. simmers for five hours more and then it'll be complete. Yeah, complete. And you, you saw the queue, they finish like 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. Oh, so it's quick. quick. One, two hours yeah. and they sell out. Gone. Yeah. All right, so get here early. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna see, it's almost done, right? It's almost done, it's after one hour and a half. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna see how they make the lamb with eggs. Over here we have a bunch of eggs, but where's the lamb? Over here we have the lamb that's been yeah. in its fat, right? It's fat, yeah. Wow, wow, <laughs> I can't wait. I love this, meat and eggs. Is that some spices, what is that, it's just pepper? It's, it's meat uh, spices, one of them is bay leaf, and one of them is a uh, cardamom. All right, it's time to eat. So, I'm taking the lift with the, the, the lentils. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Woo. Ali, food's coming. Oh, okay. This is going to be amazing. Here we go, here we go. Oh, we got to make some room here. With all matis. All right, I'm excited. I'm ready. <laughs> so how do we do this? So take the bread. Okay. Take some bread. Take some of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. And we dip it. And dip it in the egg. In the yolk. The fat. Pickle? Out of this world, man. It's probably the best breakfast of my life. The meat, the fat, the yolk all paired together. Whoa. Amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Thank God I like lamb. <laughs> <laughs> so mix it together. Beautiful. Look at this. It's cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Oh, it smells nice and sweet now. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my gosh. The cinnamon just yeah. takes it up a notch. Whoa. Mmm. I've never had a sweet lentil before. Yeah. And it almost takes seven hours mm -hmm. before the process. Yeah, 90 minutes to cook, five hours to simmer, right? And half an hour for eating it. <laughs> now take take a bit of bread and do it like that. Like that? Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh. Best lentil dish ever. Really? Ever, wow. yeah, man, the cinnamon. I think I love that you guys add sweetness, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Like that. Mix mm -hmm. it together. Yeah. You get some bread. Oh, the Tell main me. part. Okay. Tahdi. Look at that. Oh, wow. You're gonna love it. The fried egg. Yeah. Now. Try this one. Okay. <laughs> Big boy, <bite>, man. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is every day. Wow, so delicious. Why wow, so good? So delicious. So what's this? This is lemonade. This is lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. It's nice. Really bubbly. One go. Kosh Govar. So somebody just surprised us with some dolmas. So what are dolmas in Iran? Because I know what they are in Greece everywhere, and in Turkey. Everywhere in Iran. Yeah. In Iran, yeah. So grape leaves inside is rice and meat? And pomegranate sauce. And pomegranate? Oh, so it's going to be sweet, this one. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, they're one. like sticky. Ready. Oh, whoa. Wow. You like a dessert dolma. Mm. I'm a huge fan. I'm gonna have more. It's got, it's got rice in it, mm -hmm. split peas, and meat. It's like a sticky pomegranate, almost like a marmalade. Mmm. Mm. I love that. Mm. Next up is? Uh, this is Abadaniyash. I never tried it before. Okay. 
but it's got meat. I can see some chickpeas. There's chickpeas, beans. Yeah. I don't know what that green stuff beans, in the middle is. And also this, vegetables. This and this. I think it should be mint. That's mint. It's onion. It's onion. Onion and garlic. Oh, nice. So yeah. you gotta mix it. It's thick. Yeah, it's and the very thick. Is coming from the meat. Look at this. Tasty. Oh. The food here in Iran. <laughs> Every day I'm blown away. Yeah. Every day. Mm. Dude, I like it better than lentils. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That's <laughs> Wow. I'm really surprised about how every single day, every dish is different. Everyone's better and better and yeah. better. Mm. I mean, this is the entire meal itself. Whoa. Mm. Next time you come to Iran, I'm going to take you to Abadan. Abadan? Mm. Sweet for yes. It's baklava? Yes. I'm going to take one of these home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. With your cheese better. With the ultimate baklava. <laughs> What's happening? I have to buy a box. I'm going to buy one of these. Okay, to end our meal, we have baklava and chai. And this baklava is very special. Yaz, yazdi. Yazdi, yeah. Yazdi. It's it, really famous in this area. Yeah, so it is coconut and pistachio. Yeah, pistachio, yeah. So good. Yeah. Best combination. Yazdi and otal. I need to buy a house here. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. My friend, thank you. Delicious breakfast. Okay. Amazing breakfast. Okay. Top breakfast in Iran. Yeah. For me. The lamb, <laughs> the, the lentils. The, 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 the lamb and the egg is delicious food. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. You, thank you. Merci, merci. Hey, my friend, merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are too kind. I'll see you later. Next time in Yaz. Next time. Oh, I pray that I go to Friday must have Yaz. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, let's go. These are small bags, the handicrafts of this city, handmade, high quality, and the special fabric of Yaz. I always look for presents for my daughters everywhere I go. On this trip, I'm gonna surprise them with a lot of stuff. This costs only two US dollars, handmade. Even less than two dollars. Even less. Okay, my friend, I'm taking three. I'm taking three. Man, you know, this is different gorgeous. Man. Different colors or? Uh, yeah, let me see the colors. Yeah, let me get these. Okay, good. Oh my god. These three. Okay, so I love this place so much. I was looking at everything and they have these beautiful baskets. Look at this. Three dollars for this one. How many dollars have you got here? Uh, I think it's I think it's three inside and then it's this three more. How much is total so far? Seven point sixty six cents. That's total? Everything? Yeah, yeah total. Yeah. All right, so let's let's round it to ten. What else can I get for ten? What about the, he said? You said for the head, this. This for the head? Yes. Okay, so I took three little purses, two um, I guess like for wallets for money and uh, yeah. coins, and then I took the big basket, roughly at like ten dollars and uh, fifty cents, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Super affordable. Come to this guy on the way to the mosque. Wow, look at this store. Just beautiful. Everything's so nice. I love these too, man. These are super nice. This? Yeah, so beautiful. What is it for? And for dining tables, also maybe for your bedroom. On the bed, you can take it. All right, Bye. let's go. Merci, merci. Goodbye. Thank you so much. And this is the Friday Mosque. Beautiful gate. Right next to it, we have mini bazaars. I'm gonna stop really fast and get a headpiece because my head is boiling. This is better quality. Mm -hmm. I like the color. The other one is uh, it's way more golf region, you know? This is rainy done. We have to go with some different colors. Is it good? Yeah, gorgeous. But what's the difference? No, this is for me, all right? That looks good. Yeah, <laughs> the taster's getting it too. <laughs> My head is too big. No, it's perfect. Yeah, it's too much brain in it. <laughs> too much brain. <laughs> he looks good though, he looks good. Feeling good, feeling good with this. This feels great. This soaked it, because he said we're going to get into the sun, right? So as soon as we get in the sun, this is going to dry really, really quick. Ooh, we are in a desert and they have so many beautiful things here. They have, you know, tablecloths. They have gowns, they have headpieces, beautiful gowns. I think I'm gonna get one of these for my ex, especially for the home. When you're walking around the house, 
especially Miami. It's really hot. My friend, merci. Merci. Hey, ciao, ciao. Let's go. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Look at this moss. Gorgeous colors. So different. Super lean, like, like a very, very tall entryway, two minarets. For the conquer of Iran by the Arab Muslims, this place was the fire temple. And then these are the fire temple altar that it was taken for uh, holding the eternal sacred fire. This is very interesting. This is very philosophical. We have the earth and this is the birth of human beings into large blossom and finally to the heavens. And so this is after death to the, toward the Lord. All things get started from the earth to the heavens. So right here, this is the vestibule. As soon as you enter the mosque, yeah. it's the vestibule. This is a Van Ivan mosque. The dome, so amazing. The tile huh. bars, different tile bars. We have different actually arts here. The geometric designs, the calligraphy, and different other elements like the praying altar over there. You can see the very amazing praying altar. And this is the direction of Mecca. So here in Iran, all the mosques have mm -hmm. this type of design where it's square, then you have uh, squinches, you said? That's right, yeah. Then it's, then it's 16. 32 uh, sided, and then 16. 16 sided, 32 sided, and then the round cupola on, onto it. The dome. Yeah, this is Perfect. a difference between Roman and Iranian architecture. Got it. I mean, this place is stunning, beautiful. I love the blues. I mean, yeah. you can find this. Almost every single mosque in Iran is like this in terms of the colors, right? Yes. But this one is extra special in terms of entryway, this, and obviously today's Friday, so it's a, it's yeah. a holiday. Yeah, that's right. We have yeah, three sections in this mosque. The inner space taken for normal, actually, ceremonies. For winter season, we have the winter hall, winter praying hall, and also something in the courtyard. That is the raised area we do have in the center of the courtyard. Again, this was taken in summertime. It means that these three sections were as sacred as actually the main area for praying. Just It means that the people were not allowed to sit in this area to perform the praying just onto the raised area. I think we still have one more thing to see. I think the fire temple? That's right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he was playing with some birds earlier. Yeah. Let's get back on the bus. It is too hot out there. Woo! All right, we're gonna get off really quickly and see this square, beautiful square here. Mir Chakmah. Mir Chakmah Square from 15th century. Taymor the Lame actually who attacked Iran. Then after him. There was a ruler ruling over Yes. He decided to make some construction. So this complex here, we have a mosque, two water reservoir, very huge reservoir, and also this facade that is called Mir Chakmah facade that is really beautiful with two minerals. In this complex, we have the water reservoir, we have the mosque, we have this facade, and inside you have a mini market, you have some butchers, souvenir shops. That's basically it, right? Beautiful piece of architecture from the 15th century. That's right. I love it. Now we go back. Okay, let's go to the fire temple. Fire temple. So fire temples yeah. were pre-Islam. Dating back to Sasanid period. Okay, so it's pre 7th century. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. All right, let's go. Fire temple. And we just passed the famous clock tower right here. All right, let's go. Is this way? Yes. Uh, you know, before Islam, we were Zoroastrian people and uh, we had fire or the sacred fire as the symbol of Aura Mazda, the construction of this fire temple in Yazd. And then uh, this place became the very important place for all Zoroastrian people of the world. We have farewell onto the facade with the right hand showing the right way, holding the circle of unification in his left hand that supposedly the marriage ring had been taken from this symbol from the Astrian religion we have the wings in three layers the good deal good will and good thought that uh, are taken by all human beings 
ascending the heavens and if you get the tail that goes down uh, actually good uh, bad action bad thought and bad will it goes through the hell okay now we're going to enter the temple and see the sacred fire so story goes this fire dates back over a thousand five hundred years it's an eternal fire it doesn't stop burning they keep putting wood on it and it hasn't been here for that long what happened is it was by shiraz and over the decades they moved it in secrecy to this area. Why? Because during that time, you know, there were all the Arab Muslims who were extinguishing all the fires so they want to get rid of that religion from this area. Luckily for the people in that time, they moved it in secret and it's here now. It's amazing. 1,500 years, it doesn't stop burning. Right next to the fire temple, we have a photo gallery. Here it shows you a little bit of the history and also the concepts of this religion. So here we have Zoroaster, which is the messenger. Right, so he's the messenger of their religion. Over here, it shows you a guy praying. So they pray five times a day towards the source of life, sun, water, food, to source of life, right? Yeah. And then over here, they have um, basically a little table. It shows you how they celebrate what, what like New a, Year. New Year. New so year their New Year. Yeah, Nowruz. It's called Nowruz. Oh, Nowruz. Okay, so Nowruz. It's a famous, famous yeah, New Year's yeah. in, in Iran, it right? It is a pre-Islamic element taken from the Assyrian time. Celebrated from ancient time, from Achaemenid period even. We'll see in Persepolis how the people celebrated in the New Year. Amazing. Right. And so yeah, so this is the photo gallery. And I think that's it for the temple, right? Yeah. That's it my friends. That was our morning here in beautiful Yad's. Man, what a day. <laughs> yeah, what a start. What a start. So we started Amazing. off at this restaurant. From yeah, we had egg and lamb. We had uh, lentils. lentils. We had uh, some dolma. Yeah. We had, I mean, so many good things. So many good things. For me, that egg with lamb, my favorite breakfast so far in Iran, one of my favorite breakfasts of all time. So good, so fatty, so delicious. And then after that, we saw the mosque. We bought some stuff. We came into the fire temple. And that was our morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. We've got a uh, shuri osh really famous in Yaz. We've got DZ with aubergine or eggplant. We've got Queen's Steel and it's really famous here. My mom loves it. Mama Mahin said, oh, hi, Mama Mahin. <laughs> <laughs> One more dishes I can't remember. No worries, let's go inside. Tas kebab. We've got Tas kebab as well. Tas kebab? You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really excited for the eggplant dizzy. That's going to be so good. Let's go inside. Let's meet the team. Salam, salam. Salam. How are you guys doing? David. Salam. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. What's this? <laughs> What's happening here? Look, this is for devil's eye. It is taken actually to purify the air, the atmosphere, and also bad eyes. So it's the way to welcome the newcomers in Iranian culture. All right. Hello, hello. hello. Wow. Look at this place. Traditional house? Yeah. I love this. Yeah. So what's over there? We got some animals, huh? Yeah. Come. Let's go see that. Ooh. Oh, look at the peacock. Beautiful peacock. You know, I have a bunch of these in my neighborhood. Oh, this guy has this bird. Aww. He's biting, he's biting. <laughs> Peacock. Okay. All right. Enough of the birds. <laughs> so this is a traditional home, huh? I mean, this is incredible. Look, you have a garden over here to the right. You have the birds. You have this little relaxing area. You can probably smoke some shisha here. Over here we have a fountain. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh, rose water. Masquillo. Oh, with Masquillo. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Mmm, so tasty. So it's not rose water. No, no, no. Oh, but very refreshing. Must willow. It's going to give you another... Another cup? Yeah. Let's have some more. In this city, you have to stay hydrated. Oh, wow. I love it. That was so good. You ready for the food? Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm ready for the food. Abush oh, oh, means dizzy uh, with origin or eggplant. Chiyadarim, gushto. So we've got meat, lamb, we've got uh, tomato, we've got potato, onion, and chickpeas, uh, turmeric, salt, and pepper. That's it. That's You're it for that for dish? It? Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Some water. Chickpeas. Lamb with fat. 
This city is all about the lamb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this country is about the lamb. <laughs> so how long is that? 10 minutes. So it's going to boil for 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. They normally put the watermelon like that, so it's getting cold, you know. Oh yeah? Cold water, yeah. <laughs> she's been boiling that pot for 10 minutes, now she's going to add some spices. She just added turmeric? Yeah. So like pepper? So it's going to take like two hours to get the DZ or Outbush ready. So now we're going to go for Queen's stew. Really famous here. So you've got lamb, split peas, pomegranate sauce, and uppercut. Oh, nice and sticky. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and meaty. Mmm. Love it. Mmm. Very good. Okay, next up, she's gonna add some turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. Love it, looks amazing, smells great. Yeah. <laughs> the turmeric hitting the onions, yeah. the lamb. And how long is this gonna cook for? For a while, uh, right? Two, two, three minutes. Oh, quick. Yeah. Quince. Split peas. Split peas, yeah. Oh my gosh. We're boiling here, they have to cover us with something. <laughs> now we're gonna add the apricot to the quince stew. So what do we do next? Uh, we're making coffee for you. Cof um, we call it Kahve Yazdi. It's really old and it's been a uh, national registration. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow, it smells it's amazing. A, yeah, it's a, a little bit sweet, different mm -hmm. from the coffee you had before. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. So we started a fire here for the coffee. Between the fire and the sun, it's intense. Oof, look at that. Oh my god, it's like a thousand degrees here, man. Yeah, it's like, I'm already sweating. So this is where we're making coffee, right here. Nice. We get out of the sun. Oh, I'm not sure We've got toss kebab here, which is lamb, potato, tomato, and lemon. You ready? I'm ready. I can't wait for this one. This is unique to this city, right? This is to this city? Yeah, for this city. Okay. So turmeric and black pepper. We're cooling down this little tent we made here on the side because it's so hot right now. It's musk willow. Oh, that's good. The water is boiled. Now it's time to make some coffee. Yeah. All right. We're gonna put cocoa, uh, cardamom, sugar, sugar cube, and coffee. Perfect. Rose water and cardamom going after. Rose water and coffee and cardamom? Dude, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah. It's gonna be a sweet coffee. Yeah. Uh, normally it takes seven, eight hours, but we're gonna do it in two hours only. But any more uh, time, it would be much more delicious. So they're gonna add potatoes and tomatoes to the tusk kebab. Yeah. David, it's a local bread of uh, Mehriz, the area name. It's called Mehriz. Yeah. They're just making it in this area. And they put it in tenur. Yeah. Tandoor, tenur, same thing, clay yeah. oven. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is amazing. And they mix it with some herbs, look yeah. at that. So he's lighting a fire and he's dropping it into the tenur. It's getting really hot in two seconds. Oh, it's a fast fire, look at that. Oh my gosh, that fire is raging. The fire is intense, look at that. It's like cooking the wall. Look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the wall's on fire. <laughs> right there, on a little pillow. And then he's gonna go in and throw it in. Very similar to how they do it in India and Pakistan and a lot of places around the world where they use a tandoor, right? Basically South Asia, Central Asia, Middle East, they do this. Tandoor, tenor. They put bread on a pillow, they put it on the wall, it cooks up in literally two minutes, three minutes, it's done. This bread looks phenomenal. Oh, and we have water, yes Ready of ice. course. All right guys, it's my turn. I've done it before, I've done this in India. Let, let me see where it is, let's see. How deep is it? Oh my God, it's deep, it's deep. Okay, so you gotta be really careful. Not so good. I tried. Okay. 
Just I tried, I tried. Oh, he's making it nice and charred. Look at that, crispy. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is really amazing, guys, look at this. He keeps moving it onto the stone, taking it off, seeing if it's enough chart on it. Like if it's enough, you know, crispiness. Ooh, right away. Ooh, hot. Mmm. Coriander. Mmm. Nice and fluffy. Oh, um. So good. Mm hmm. It's so good. You know, it is too good. Mm hmm. Wow. One of the best ever. Mm hmm. Sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Coriander. We are making. Uh, Shuli Osh and it's must have in Yaz. It's really famous. Exactly like, uh, what was the name of this? Oh, like Borsh. Yeah, Borsh in Russia. If you go to Russia, you must have Borsh. And here is Shuli. Very strange because their beetroot is white. It's very different from the one I've had in Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. So after two hours of boiling that coffee, it's time to add cardamom and rose water. Ten minutes. Ready. Only ten minutes? Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's been We've a been long in day. the fire the whole day. <laughs> so what is he doing there? Put the coal in it <laughs> to take the bitter taste out. Yeah? Yeah. I've never seen this before in my life. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It's my first time as well. This is almost ready, so we're going to add some tomato, potato, and onion. Yeah. Long process. Yeah. And eggplants. Wow. More water? Wow, what a dish, huh? Yeah. The coffee's ready. I'm super excited to try this. It's going to be amazing. It's already like 4.30 in the afternoon. I don't have the coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a pairing. Mm. Mm. The coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee, I see. Take us deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best coffee I've ever had in my life. Really? The rose, the cardamom. Mm. So it's our uh, queen's stew, and she's gonna put uh, pomegranate uh, paste in it and also saffron. The smell, that aroma. Wow. Can't wait for this. Two hours in the making, huh? Now saffron. So there's wheat powder for the for the arsh. For the arsh. arsh. And that's it. Yazi surely. Yeah. Like borscht, but this is green. <laughs> this is amazing. She added onion with mint. Oh yeah. She fried it, yeah. Oh, okay, she okay. Fried in the kitchen, and then she added to the basically like sautéed it. Exactly. And then now she's gonna add some vinegar. Yeah. Nice, huh? This smells amazing. This is the quince stew, mm -hmm. guys. You have no idea the aroma coming out of this pot. Whoa! Never smelled something like this before. The turmeric, nice and bright yellow. Vibrant colors here. On oh, the chickpeas too. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> so I thought that was it, but no. There's still another piece of this process. Yeah. He has to mash it. He has to mash the the same as this we had in Tehran. We have to mash it. Fight for the for the bone marrow. Yeah. So we're not fighting today. So no, no. I've got one more. Oh, you got one more? Yeah. All right. At least we're starting with something good. <laughs> yeah. We haven't eaten yet. Yeah. Look at the pickle face. She's waiting. You want pickle? You want? I take it. Okay, okay. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, meat and the fat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. That was good. You guys have no idea. This is gonna blow our minds right here. So we still have one more to serve. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. I love it. I love it. Let's start with the ash. And as you can see, sugar beets here are white. Oh, the beer is white? Yeah. So it's pomegranate paste. You put it on shuli ash. Like that. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Very similar to Borscht. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like nice green. Yeah. And um, Borscht is red. Mm -hmm. It's also nice and sweet because yeah. of the pomegranate paste. Mmm. Oh. Amazing. Oh wow. It's so good. I love it because so rich. The beetroot. Mm. Nice and crunchy, right? Mmm. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Still nice and hot. Mm. It's very good. This is different though. It's not the same yeah. as borscht. No. I think adding that sweet element, pomegranate, mm. nice twist. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So this is crispy bread. We put it in the bowl again, like that. And then we're so, gonna go for eggplant meat juice. So I'll put some potato for you. More meat juice, some meat on top. So the bread basically soaks it up and gets soft. We've got an aubergine and tomato <laughs> on top. And a bit more. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 I love it. Oh, that's good. Mmm, the bread was hard and now it's so yeah. soft. Oh wow, that lamb. Yeah. <laughs> it melts. You got a lot of lamb, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. It's my lamb. <laughs> oh, like that. Like the aubergine. Oh my god. No more lamb. Yeah, for you. I'll get a piece of lamb from you. Look at that piece of lamb right there. You can have both. Mmm. 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 Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> the moisture popping out of the lamb soaked it all up, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. And the aubergine. I love the aubergine. What a meal. Mm hmm. So different, huh? Yeah. We haven't had this dish. Ready for the next one? <laughs> We're done. Upside down rice with potatoes, yeah. so nice and crispy. Ooh, wow. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I know. Mmm. I love this work. Wow. If, if you're gonna kill Iranian, just close her, his hand or her hand and just have Ty dig in front of him. <laughs> Seriously. It's so soft. Mm. 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 Amazing. Mm. Delicious. Crispy rice, soft, hard, crunchy. Exactly. So they're putting underneath when they're gonna put the rice. So rice on top and then upside down and the tadig is coming out. Amazing. Queen's stew. Only in gas. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Wow. Sweet. Sweet and nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everything pairs well with each other. It's like a nice balance. And you have to have it with rice. Yeah. Because that rice soaks up that like gravy, right? So nice. An Iranian can't live without rice. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm. And here in Iran, they love the rice. Oh. I feel like it's like, like an Oman. Without rice, there's no meal. Yeah. Right? Mm. Mm. It's amazing. Wow. Amazing. Nice one. Tas kebab. My mom loves it. Look at the color. Look. Crazy. Okay, bring the bread. The bread. Do we need bread? I think we yes. need bread. Look at this monster. Okay. Take a bit. Okay. And put lamb. Lamb on top. Yeah. 
We're inside, right? Ooh, it's still very hot. Let it soak up. Some potato. Mm hmm. Tomato. Like that. Mm hmm. And some juice on top. Ready. Ready? Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amazing. Mm hmm. Another sweet dish. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. Tomato paste. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. The lamb, oh. it gets better and better with the lamb, huh? Yeah. Wow. Just that broth right there, that soup. I will be sure. Mm. 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 Oh. I think this is the best lamb of all the dishes. Yeah. And let's have the juice. This is juice alone. Mm. Oh man. Mm. It actually reminds me of gazpacho. Gazpacho? Mm hmm. Spanish, uh, Spanish. Spanish um, huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing, it's tomato. Do you want tomato soup? Yes, sir. So we still have one more dish to try, and yeah. it's the mash, it's right? Kushkubide, yeah. Kushkubide. 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 Yeah, means mash meat. Mash meat. We had the juice, mm -hmm. now it's time to have the kushkubide. And for that, we need onions. Okay, what do we do with the onions? But we have to break it with our hands. Ready? Is that okay? Yeah, I can. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Uh, you broke it? Oh, oh. look at that. Mine is better. Mine? I'm experienced, man. I'm Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the bread. Bring the bread? Yeah. You need more bread? <laughs> <laughs> we believe that this would be more delicious. Okay. Because the gas is coming out, oh. so it would be sweeter. So it's like basically airing out. At this exactly. Point. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. So what do we do? Just go in here. <laughs> He's not hang hungry anymore. Look at my body. I'm not, I'm not hungry at anymore. At <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> I'm eating a lot here. Okay. And then, for you. Okay. And for me. Oh, you should put it inside. You can put it inside, or you can have it after. Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Mm. 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 So delicious. Oh yeah, but that onion is strong. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my God. What a finish. <laughs> what a finish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that was our experience mm. here. Yeah. What's the name of this hotel? Saroye Jahan Gad. And that's the hotel, right? Mehriz, yeah. In Mehriz. It's near Yazd. Yeah, like a 20 minute drive. 20 minutes from Yazd. Yeah, we saw a whole process of how you make all these dishes. We spent like six hours here yeah. going through every single one. What an experience. I loved it all. I mean, this is just phenomenal. Yeah. Each dish is completely different, all from Yazd. Mm. Well, one in specific, this one, is the one that's really from here, right? Like this is... Yeah. So what are we doing this afternoon or this morning, actually? We are here for Kalle Pache, which is sheep's head. It's really nice. You're gonna have meat juice. You're gonna have a pache, which is the leg. You're gonna have the whole head of sheep. You ready, man? I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm guys. Ready <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> I'm a little jet lag. I barely slept last night. Here we go. All right, my man. So when someone enters, he hits the, the bell. Yeah, yeah. He hits the bell and yeah, look at that. <laughs> so what's this? Uh, we've got the whole head. You can have eye, you can have cheeks, you can have everything really. Ears, everything. Everything. It's really delicious. You've got the brain here, and you can have the meat juice first, and then the whole head. So this is traditionally eaten like at 4 in the morning, 4 a.m. to 10 in the morning, yeah, right? Yeah. People eat this in the middle of the night, crazy, right? But amazing. <laughs> so this like lifts you up, it brings you back to life. Yeah, it's so heavy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? It's making you something special. Look at that. And this is lamb, right? It's beef. Oh, That's beef? Yeah. Yes. His leg was playing football yesterday. It was playing football yesterday? <laughs> I mean, today is Champions League, uh, the yeah, final, know, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's putting leg in it. Okay. So well, so he takes it apart right there. Look at that. That's all meat. That's off the leg, right? Meat from the leg. So bring. Then he pulls out like the cheeks. 
Oh, the ears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The, the whole head. <laughs> I'm extremely excited. You know, this is an exotic dish, but it's traditional here. The eyes, too. Eat it right here. Yeah. That was so good. So tasty. Oh my god, so much flavor. It just went down so fast. Wow. Piece of food. Look at that. Oh, he like scrambles it. It's like a scrambled egg in there. So you got meat, you got organs. Wow. Everything together. It's like a big mix. So what's that? Just like fat on the sides yeah. of the soup? And bread, juice, and the mix is going on top. It's on big, top? I promise. And that's mine? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, it's hot. Oh. And right here is Ali. My man. He's going to be with me the whole trip. <laughs> Ali is always helpful. Seriously. You are good team together. Thank you so much. You. So you're gonna break up all the bread? Yeah. So which type of bread is this? I think it's the one it's from next door. You can you can see how they cook it. Okay. How they bake it. You just try it. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, in, in man -man Super crunchy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Super crispy. Yeah. Oh, that's how you eat it? Just a bit of that? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Alright my man, so how do we start this? Yeah, we just, yeah. just go in. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> nah, nah, you know, okay. Oh, wow. Mercy. They just keep bringing more, huh? <laughs> it's, what it's is that? On top? <laughs> on top? It's extra, extra there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready. Mmm. I love it. Oh, man. Let's make it more delicious. I mean, it's delicious. So many flavors here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I love the bread. Yeah. It thickens it up, right? It's the best. Mm -hmm. I bread is always the best. So, Iran's a lot of stews, right? Yeah. Lots of stews. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> god doing here. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> mm. So traditionally they eat this at 4 in the morning. Yeah. Why is that? Just in the middle of the night. It just make them too strong to start the day. So basically people that are starting work that early. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I mean, what a mix, huh? So you have, well, we have the ears in here. Everything. We have brain the in here, head. the head in here. I mean, what makes it really like come together is the bread, right? Yeah. It blinds it together. Yeah. And the, the special thing about it is normally on Friday, the family gathering together and one person going to get the candle pache and bring it home and they share it together. Mm. And then they asleep. Yes. <laughs> they asleep. <laughs> what is he putting here? <laughs> is that like liver? It's garlic. Oh, it's garlic, garlic. garlic. Yeah. It's like it's funny guy. <laughs> He's saying it for 30 years ago. For 30 years ago? <laughs> yeah. I really thought he was like bringing us kidney or liver here, but because the, the color is so amazing. Yeah. So this is extra. He brought me the head just to just a decoration here. <laughs> amazing. So Mr. Taster, have you ever seen anybody do this? Should I try it? Oh my god. It's not bad. Oh. <laughs> mm. So there's another part to this? Mine is just the starter. <laughs> what? The main head is over there. What? I thought that was it. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I found what you were doing. I said, eating, it's finished. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just drenches it in this, huh? Yeah. So we're eating this. Yeah. And that's the last part of this? Or? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, the whole head. It's going to take it apart? Yeah. So we're starting with the cheeks. The ears. Wow, it just takes apart the ears so easily. 
<laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was so good. That's the tongue. Wallet tongue, huh? So he pulls everything out of that head. Yeah. And he puts the, the jaw right there, too? <laughs> it's for decoration. Oh my gosh. For decoration with the teeth. It's wild. I love it, though. I love it. Wow. So, what did you add next? Just more oil? Is that oil? Oh my gosh. Some pepper? Some, what is that? Salt? Zaffron. Zaffron. No way. Let's go to the table. Wow. How do we even fit this in there? I guess we'll remove the head. You ready? I'm ready. So the first thing was just a scramble of organs, right? This is the actual sheep head. Yeah. The whole thing. The whole sheep head. Wow. As you can see, that's the brain, that's the tongue. <laughs> the, the jaws. Is yeah. For the decoration. You never do it, to be honest with you, but Mr. Majid is... Do I smell cinnamon here? Is, oh, is it yes, the saffron yes. here too? Mm -hmm. Yes, cinnamon and some saffron. Is it saffron? Yeah. Okay. You ready to taste? I'm ready, I'm ready. So, so take bread. the bread like that. Okay. So I'll get a piece of bread too. Take it like that. Nice piece. Okay. And shall we start with the brain or let's go with the meat? With the meat? Oh my gosh. It looks so good. So rich, huh? <laughs> so what a mix here. I'll try and grab as much as I can. Like that. Mm. Wow. Mm. With the bread too? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Slow cook. Yeah. What's the part? Yeah, it starts from nice. It takes like seven hours to make it like this. Wow. I mean, the meat is unreal. Yeah. What else do you put in here? Because it's, it's a mix of broth. And we've got oil, this is oil. It's oil too? Yeah. And we've got tongue, the brain, and some cheeks. And, and here we yeah. have the, the jaw. It is it's really good as well. The jaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll take another piece from here. Let's go up. So let's see what we've got here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the ears. That's the ear right there. Yeah, that's the ears. It's amazing. Try this one. Just that one? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're like doctors. <laughs> like doctors here. <laughs> like a surgeon going in for... <laughs> you know, it's exotic, but it's so tasty. Every single bite is just another level. Yeah. Different taste. Different taste. Yeah. Cheers. You ready? Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. So jello-ish, right? Mm -hmm. So soft. I've had ears before, and they're more like hard to get through. That fell apart like butter. Yeah. Melting Whoa. in the mouth. Melting, melting. <laughs> the brain? Yeah. And the, the thing is, you get full here because you're getting so much bread. <laughs> if you're just eating this straight, it won't be so bad, right? Yeah. Normally, a whole head is for the family for five, six people. So they're having the juice together. Okay. And then they will have the tongue. My mom is a fan of tongue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was a fan of eye. So every single person in the family like one part. Like one part. Sometimes they will fight for the tongue. I'd say I'm a fan of the brain. Oh, that's right. Then. The brain is like the ultimate. Oh my gosh. Oh man. He's like taking it apart here. Ah. Wow. And it's for you. It's for me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's the tastiest brain I ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. Oh my wow. I think with the cinnamon and saffron, it's amazing. It enhances yeah. so much flavor, right? Yeah, and cooking it for seven hours, that would be like that. Wow. If we eat this whole thing, we're gonna go to sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what? Big, big flick. We're gonna have this too? We're trying everything here. This is too much. I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, he's gonna bring it up? Oh my god. What is he doing? Yeah. Gelatine, gelatine. Gel gelatine, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like jelly. Maybe it's like jelly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so good. It's so fatty, so oily. 
<laughs> too much, too much. Guys, it's too much food, it's too good. But you know what? For me, this, the brain right here. Oh yeah, get some of the meat. You have to usually, of course, eat it with the bread, but eating it straight, so good. I think we still have to try this. Should we try this? I'm ready. <laughs> mm. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Well, I love that everything tastes so different. Yeah. It was so soft. Yeah, it's so soft. And it's, the texture is different compared to other parts mm -hmm. of ships. Head. I, but you know, it's so nice. Good for, for the legs and muscles. I've never had like meat with cinnamon on top. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It, like, yeah. it really Somebody brings likes up. meat. They don't like cinnamon with meat. We like the pure. The pure, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, you know, of course. Part of me. Well, you know it what? If we're gonna finish here, I'll just take some more brain. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> this guy's the best. It's gonna be an amazing trip. <laughs> you gonna wash your hands? Yeah. So oily. With this meat, of course, all the brain. Oh my gosh. It's just like sticky, right? Do you want lemonade? Lemonade, yeah, I'll have a lemonade for sure. Yeah. It's the lemonade. Shall we go for in, in one go? In one go? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's do it. One, Ooh. two, three. <laughs> oh, it's hard with the gas. You're getting old. Yeah, yeah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> you gotta open a hole here. <laughs> All right. So we're good? Yeah. So where to next? Uh, we're going to the bazaar. Okay. We're going to Muslim. They got a nice tachi, lots of Iranian foods. We're going to have fun. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> Before we go to the bazaar, we have to digest a little bit with some tea, right? And next to it, we have like a sugar stick, right? This crystallized sugar. And saffron. And then, so you said I just stir it, right? Yeah. To stir it, this. As much as you like, okay. So let me. So that sweetens it, right? Yeah. So right now there's no sugar in it. This is a stick of sugar. So. Mmm, nice. Very nice to eat. So they don't give you a packet of sugar. They give you a sugar stick, and you just do this, and it sort of slowly melts, right? Sugar. So some people drink with this. So some people drink it like this. I rather with a stick, right? Okay, a whole sugar. Mm. Wow, it's way sweeter, of course, sugar, but it's incredible. Just put it in there like that. Oh, I love this tea. This tea is very nice. Mm, nice black tea. Perfect for digesting. You know, it's right now 11 15 in the morning. We're going to be at the bazaar around 12. Just gotta digest, relax, and enjoy my first day here in Iran. So happy, so happy. Thank you so much. Merci, merci. No Sejan. No Sejan. No Sejan. No and that was Kale Page. Yeah, that's Kale Page. Sheep head stew, the best. So good, but I would recommend four in the morning, they're gonna sleep. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was nice. What do we have here? What is this one? Oh, rose. And rose water. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What? Mustard, orange blossom? I mean, this is a huge mix of things. I mean, it gives you energy, right? You feel it, right? This is better than Red Bull. <laughs> Oh, it's very nice, really delicious and tasty. And uh, I, I, I wish all of you come to Iran to try this, this one. When I saw it, I was like, it must have orange. It has some seeds, but then when, yeah. it, when it hits you, it's like the rose, yeah. the abundance of rose here. No At the very end, you have all the seeds. 
Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, but now it's for summertime, you know? Mm -hmm. It decreases blood pressure. Exactly. It, it, it is uh, actually traditional juice to uh, actually uh, make the summertime much more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, because if you're walking around in the heat, yeah. you need this to cool down. Yeah. Well, that's it. My man. I'll see you soon. Merci. So we are going for Sang Egg Bread, really famous one. You already had it in your ship's head. Okay, so there's a lot of bakeries in the area. We saw one coming in. They make a certain type of bread. This one's different. This is the one we just had, right? Yeah, we just had, and it's the best bread in Iran, I, I tell you. In the world, actually. And it's right here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to the bakery. Oh, wow. It's like slanted, huh? It's on a, it's on a slant. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Look at this bread. Put some water on it, right? Oh, you gotta be careful here. Look at this. Oh, man. What a long stick. This pole. It's like the longest pole ever. When I go to see the bread, my hair is going. It's like that. It's amazing. that you don't have any hair. I'm very lucky. This is incredible. I've never seen a bakery like this. First time seeing this. And he's gonna put some seeds? Where is this? Sesame seeds. Oh, and that's where he gets the batter. Okay, okay, I didn't even see that. Oh, he's smoothing out the rocks. So with that big stick, he's smoothing out the rocks, so making it really, really flat. Then they put the dough on top of the rocks, and then let it sit there for like three, four minutes. It's really, really quick, and they pull it out, right? Yeah, and that's it. Okay. This is the actually normal uh, bread, but there are some other extra services, like for example, sesame and uh, also mustard and other things like the uh, actually so different seeds yeah yeah so these are added up to the bread and of course so it depends on what seeds seed you want it's it's tastier and more expensive of course right what are you doing with this is for us for us more bread you can have it with ROTZ. Just sesame seeds, this one, right? Yeah. Mmm. Crispy, a little smoky. Wow. Good. Great. But it's amazing. Yeah, that's about 100 little bonus. How crispy it is. Oh my gosh. Mm. Best bread I've had in a long time. Mr. Taster took me to eat calepache. Yeah. <laughs> sheep head stew. The sheep head, you got the feet, you have every single part of the face. Yeah, it's amazing. It really is amazing. And yeah. then around it, there's like two bakeries. I mean, the experience here is phenomenal. You have to try it. And if you want to, you can come here at four in the morning. Four yeah, people come four here. in the morning, you, you, should, you must have it. They started to serve it in, at night or in the afternoon as well. Wow. But I prefer to have it in the morning because you can either sleep after that or you can <laughs> yeah. go to work. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really heavy. If you have the full thing, you will go to sleep right after. We're about to enter the Grand Bazaar and we're gonna go eat. Yeah, we're gonna go to Muslim. They've got Tachin, which is really famous here. Lots of stews we're gonna taste over there. Lots of kebabs. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> I'm ready, let's go inside. So the Grand Bazaar is the place that everybody comes to buy their daily goods, right? That's right. In some area we have the handicraft, very nice uh, furniture, carpet. So here we have like a lot of, so kitchenware, we have a lot of clothing. Yeah, the cups here. Yeah, cups. The wooden little, spoon. little wooden spoons. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. The knife and everything. This is for yogurt, for example. You mix up water and yogurt together to, to make the traditional juice do in Farsi. So, do. So you can mix up wheat and sugar and water to make some cake, for example. Got it. By the housewives. Amazing, guys. So these are for like tiny kebabs, right? <laughs> it is $1. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take it home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to also take a honeycomb one. I'm going to take two of these, actually. Do I need the one? As, uh, crack walnut. I don't need the walnut one. I don't need oh, the walnut okay. one. But I'll probably take another one of the kebabs. That's good, I think, right? $1. This is two together, one dollar. Okay. I'll take it. I haven't exchanged my money yet, so my friend's gonna help me out. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. So okay. spent like three dollars, right? Yes. That's perfect. Yeah, this is cool because I can do this with kebabs. So I do a lot of kebabs at home. 
Okay. And but I don't have that, and that's beautiful. So tiny ones for my daughters, right? <laughs> my daughter's gonna love this. This is not for actually the kebab on charcoal. This is uh, to make kebab in the pan, frying pan. In the pan, frying pan. Yeah, okay, yeah. even better. Yeah. And you getting stopped everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a celebrity right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I love you so much. This bazaar is amazing, just like the one in Istanbul. Super, super long. We haven't even entered any alleys yet. I mean, it just doesn't end. They got scarves. They have kitchenware. Whoa, and these guys passing by with this. So this reminds me a lot of the colors they use in Uzbekistan with the same like Islamic architecture, right? Blues, lots of yellows, but the intricate designs. And then over here as well, this is like in mosque. Right? It's yeah, usually like that, right? right? The architecture is the same as we got for the Friday mosques. And okay. then it had been taken to the bazaars and even to the palaces and uh, to the private houses. So it started with the, in the mosque and then it yeah, started being it implemented developed into the rest. improved in the grand mosques first and then taken by people. When we entered the Grand Bazaar, we went down a huge alley. Once we made a left, we made it here to the Tinche, which is like a courtyard which can find like shops and chambers that are exactly the same. It's still the, the same, same things, song. right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So the people, the customers get quite very comfortable when they get to this area for one stop and they can get the price, they can compare the prices of different stuff and they can get the bargain. Yeah, they can negotiate. The yeah. Exactly. You can always negotiate. Yeah. We'll, we'll negotiate on this trip. Okay. Let me introduce this one. You know, you can grind saffron. No way. Yeah, this is for saffron. In there? Yeah, the small copper trays here. Wow. Serve the guests with tea here. Guys, I think I'm going to take $4. this. $4 for yeah. this? For the saffron grinder? He will give you a discount. Give me a discount? Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like this one. Okay. okay. This is the one. Look at how many things are in here. This is incredible. So you have a mix, right? You have some plates, you have some grinders for like saffron, you have some cups for tea, cups for um, sugar, as well as like little chocolate holders here. So it's just a mix of stuff. And what is it made out? All copper? All of them copper. Made All of copper. copper yeah. Even the small jars here. Whoa, what are these? Actually, a vase for decoration, he says. Oh, for decoration? You can get some flower in it. Oh, perfect. I mean, it's amazing here. The bazaar is amazing. It's always like this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Literally, it's been taking us like half an hour to get there because he, he keeps getting stopped. Every, every moment he gets a selfie. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> so we are going to... The smallest tea house in the world. Smallest tea house in the world? Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah, we're going right now. Oh, man. You're going to love it. I hope the owner will be there. I hope so. All right, so quick change of plans. Because they're in prayer right now, the owner of the shop went to pray. He'll be back in half an hour. So we're first going to eat, and then we'll come back to the tea house at the end. It's a dried apple. It's a dried apple, yeah. It's a apricot. It's apricot. I'll try the apricot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. That one is yellow apricot. It's so juicy and meaty. And it's yellow. Mmm. Mm. This is the best though. That one. You like it? This one's too good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sour. It's, it's sour, it's moist, and it's just so juicy. Yeah. You know? Love it. Wow. Okay. That was very nice. Like, yeah. but my appetite. Yeah. So many dishes. We're gonna try them all. Okay. Let's go. So we're walking into the jewelry market now. Right over here we have some gold coins, we have yeah. some gold chains, gold yeah. everywhere. The very interesting area for the ladies, Iranian ladies. Of course. Just walking around and go shopping. Hey man, men too. I will buy a chain here. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we quickly took a tour of the jewelry area of the market. Beautiful, lots of gold, silver. Now we're going to eat. And here you are again, because you keep disappearing. <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> So where's the restaurant? It's all there. Uh, it's we call it Muslim, and it's really famous here. You can see the queue. Normally the queue is going till over there. It's what? really nice restaurant. We've got tachin in it. Lots of stews we're gonna taste, and lots of kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's go. I'm hungry. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He keeps getting stopped. Hello, hello. hello. Is the restaurant? Is it back here somewhere? Just so you guys know, tachin is like a rice cake dish. So crispy on the bottom. Looks amazing. He's been telling me all about it. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Whoa. You don't have your food here. Okay. The kitchen is over there. One kitchen is upstairs. We're gonna check both kitchens. 
and all the foods. Ready? Let's go in the kitchen. Here we go. Lamb chops. And over here we have kebab. Chicken, tomato, and then the, that one's lamb, no? That's lamb. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. Yes. I'm boiling in here. Everything good? Yeah, come here. Right, let's go, let's go. This is just, uh, what is this, chicken? It's Stewed this one chicken? Is chicken, but he's going to put the tachin on top. Oh, tachin on top, yeah. okay. He's putting aubergine on top. Aubergine, so it's yeah. an eggplant. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's a tachin. Wow. <laughs> so it's a rice cake, huh? Yeah, a rice cake. Hold on. Oh man, guys, look at this, look at this. So you got a mix of rice, mulberry, and then right there you have saffron. Saffron and mulberry is antisection. Wow. And so what's this one? This is kibide with lamb, right? Kibide with lamb, with uh, shish kebab, chicken. Uh, this is bag. This is lamb as well. Sometimes this with beef as well. And tomato. And tomato. Right in front of these kebabs. It is so hot. So hot. I mean, the ember. Oh. Scorching. This is beautiful though. Look at that. You're done with it? Oh, strain to butter. Beautiful, smoky, charred, buttery. Woo! You gotta be careful in this kitchen. There's too many things going on. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. Wow. So what are we doing here? We have a bunch of different kebabs. Yeah. This is the line, right? So they yeah. cook the kebabs, they put them here, they drench in them the in butter. Here, yeah. And then it's going out. And it's going out, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna eat some of this, right? Yeah, we're gonna have some kebab, we're gonna have tachin, we're gonna have <laughs> stews, we're gonna have all yeah. this stuff in, in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, this plate looks... Apart from people, we eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, you ready? Because I think okay. we're good here. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go, let's go. Guys, merci, merci. Merci, guys. Merci. Thank you so much. All right, let's go, let's go. We exited one kitchen, now we're going to another kitchen. There's so many kitchens here. <laughs> They're in here. Oh, the last floor, huh? Okay, so the second floor is a dining hall. Third floor, I think it's another dining hall. And then the fourth floor is a kitchen? Maybe, let's see. Salam, salam, Hello, hello. Whoa. He's making the Thai cheese for you. So it's rice in it. And they put some saffron in it. It's really amazing. You're gonna be excited. So it's starting right here. Oh wow. So much rice. Wow. This butter? That's all butter? Butter, egg, and saffron. And yogurt. And yogurt. And yogurt. So butter, egg, saffron, and yogurt. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a piece of art, Persian art. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is. I've never seen this in my life, yeah, man. It's crazy, isn't it's it? It's amazing. And this is basmati rice, right? Yeah, no, no, it's Persian rice. It's Persian rice? Yeah. So this is not basmati rice, this is Persian rice. It's the is... best per <laughs> rice in the world, Persian rice. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're awesome. All right, so now he molds it, right? Basically makes a blanket. Yeah. And then he flattens it. Look at that. Wow. Dude, what experience. <laughs> oh, he's gonna cut it. He's cutting it. Now that he's done molding tajin, yeah. he's gonna throw it into the oven? Yeah, going to the oven. Uh, 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. Hey, merci, merci. Merci one last time, boom. Thanks, guys, thank you. Oh my gosh. Lots of kebab. More kebab. Yeah. Look at that. It's all yours. He's gonna take it to US. <laughs> I can't this guy. Too much, too much. Kebab heaven right here, guys. Chicken kebab, bag, and we've got like chicken here, aubergine, some butter. It's a factory. It's a real factory. Look at that. Okay, we did all the kitchen stuff. Now it's time to finally eat. <laughs> Tashin, kebabs. Wow, it's a queue, huh? It's a queue. Wow, look at the line, guys. Never earning line now. Can we get through here? Oh my gosh. I said I'm too fat too. Dude, what are you talking about? You're good. Queues forever, huh? That's the queue. Nobody going outside, but it's Saturday, you know? I love this restaurant. So if you go to where we were, you can sit there, the first and second floor. I suggest coming here to the second part because it's just way more beautiful open air, lots of greenery, right? Beautiful spot. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that. The main event, the tachin. Okay. Yeah, you ready? So it's like a big rice cake. It reminds me of cornbread in America. It's a in, cake, actually. Yeah, it's a cake. It's a cake. So it has a garnishing on top, which is basically um, barberry. Saffron and pistachio. And pistachio. Yeah. And then under we have rice, we have eggplant, and we have chicken. Yeah. Okay. Do you like leg or uh, breast? I like breast. 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 <laughs> I like leg. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do we do it? You ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Take a little bit of patching. Okay. Take some of chicken. So go into there. It's leg. <laughs> it's fine. I'll put it on there. Like that. Okay, so on and top some, of it? Some everything or eggplant. So you mix them? Yeah. Got it. Put some of the barberries and saffron on top. It's a one bite. A one biter, huh? Yeah. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Wow. Oh my god. Give me a hug. Wow. Amazing. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The crispiness yeah. of tachin. Oh, with the chicken. Take place. It's a heaven mix. It is a heaven mix. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> This is so unique. <laughs> I love the, the sweetness of the eggplant coming in, though. Yeah. Mm hmm Mmm. I love it. Crispy cake and fluffy. Look at this. Have a bite. Have a bite? Yeah. Stay back, huh? <laughs> That's even better. Mm. <laughs> It's so juicy. Yeah. Mm hmm Moist. Oh my god. Happy that you like it. Dude, I love it. <laughs> Incredible dish. You know what I like about this? The combinations, and I never had food like this. The first dish we had today, never had something like that in my life, really? you know? Oh, the eggplant with the, the tanchin. And I'll tell you something funny. It's even more delicious at home. I'm sure. Because normally, our moms, cooking it with their hearts. Mm -hmm. And it's so delicious at home. It's delicious, but at home, you can have it much more delicious. It's like another level at home. Yeah, another level, exactly. Oh my God. You know what, let me get another piece. Put some chicken on top, some barberries, and that's a good bite. Mm. Oh, that roasted eggplant, so good. <laughs> you ready? So, yes, yes. <laughs> What an amazing bite. <laughs> I'm like in the clouds right now, man. Mm. You ready for next dish? Yes, next dish, please. This is filling. Yeah. This is like for three people right here. This is for Sabzi, the most famous stew in Iran, I'll tell you. Okay, Sabzi? Sabzi or vegetable. It's got lamb in it, there are lemon, and red beans. Some people using White beans is bad. Man, looks so rich. <laughs> it's rich. So normally, <laughs> you have it uh, either just penel like that, or you can have it with yogurt. Okay. Or some people like me like it with onion. With onion. Yeah. Okay. But we skip onion for now because we're gonna meet each other for the whole day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're eating all day long. Easy tomorrow. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so we just get it. Yeah, yeah. So it takes some rice, like that. Mm-hmm. Do that. And okay. then. Oh, wow. Mmm. Give it to me. So rich. Yeah. Wow. With the meat, you have all the herbs. The sourness is coming from the dried lemon. Exactly. And the vegetables and, you know. And it's beans. also very turning because the beans, right? Try this one. Mmm. And, and the meat is melting in your mouth. It is. I mean, this is what Iran is about, right? The yeah, stews. Exactly. These like super thick stews, but they're so flavorful. Mm. Wow. So good. If, if you come to Iran, you shouldn't miss Parmesan. Can't miss this dish. Yeah. Number one, right? Number one.
Mm. Mm. I love it. I love it too. I personally can have this with like no rice, just have a whole bowl. Mm. You know? Mm. It's phenomenal. I, I like, it reminds me of the textures of like spinach dip. Yeah. Obviously, this is a mix of herbs, right? Yeah. Herbs, you got the lamb in there, you got the beans, the lime. And, oh. and the key thing about the gourmet sabzi, it's very slow cook. Normally, our mom's putting it at night or early in the morning, so it will be ready for the lunch. So very slow cook, that's the key to make it more delicious. I'm gonna take a lot of this home with me. <laughs> it's that good. Dude, I love it, I love it. And the, when I get the chunks of the lamb, yeah. oh man, it yeah, just like melts. Good, yeah. mm. <laughs> Amazing. Top notch, man, top notch. <laughs> you know, Iran is the king of saffron of the world. Did you know that? I, I know that, and it's, that's the most expensive spice on earth, Yeah, next saffron. time you come to Iran, I'm gonna take you to the farm. Oh, okay. Because you must come in, in autumn. Autumn, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah, because right now it's almost summer, yeah, so yeah. we passed it. So how do we start it? You ready? Yeah, yeah. So let's... Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna oh. do? Oh, you had that's to, you good, had to. It? So do you break it up? Yeah. Just cut it up? Look at that. Melting in the mouth. Mm. I've never tried a rice dish with dill. It's, it's the first one. Oh. <laughs> mm. I know you're gonna love it. Mm. Oh, I love this rice dish. Yeah. Mm. And the lamb shank melts as well? Yeah. No, no. It deserves like a whole spoon. <laughs> Oh my god. You like it? Mmm. Okay. It's the most herbal rice dish of my life. Yeah. The saffron always tastes up enough, but. Exactly. Wow, the dill. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> and I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look at that. Bone marrow. Mm -hmm. Nice, isn't it? Oh, so nice. I'll finish this dish. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a huge dish. Mm. Happy that mm. you like it. Mm. Oh man, I'm in love. I'm in love. You know, I thought the touching was my favorite today here. That's number one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Shock. <laughs> yeah? It's so good. It's so fresh, man. And that's the thing about Iran. Everything is fresh. Yeah. Like literally from the table. Exactly. It's amazing. Oh, we're All filling right. up here. We're filling up. Do we have dessert? We have dessert. Yeah. That's really famous dessert. This is a famous they call dessert. Cholizard. Cholizard. Yeah. Rice with saffron, with pistachio on top. And that's it. You ready? I'm sure you're gonna be surprised. My man's taste. feeding me the whole trip. <laughs> wow, there's, there's rose in here too? Um, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, rose, there's rose. Yeah, yeah. The best rice pudding on earth, right yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Give me another bite, one, one more bite. More. I have to, I have to. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. It's not like, oh my God. <laughs> one more. One more. Come on, It's spectacular. It's not too thick, it's nice and moist, but then the saffron, you got cinnamon, right? Yeah. And what else was in there? We've got saffron, and rose. cinnamon, and rose, rose water, and pistachio. Some sugar. Some sugar, some of sugar, course, yeah. of course. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello. He How just are you? From Karmala. Oh, he did? Yeah. It's amazing. Mr. Rospo is the king. Well, it doesn't stop. <laughs> always, always. <laughs> All right, some tea, right? Yeah. To digest. Some pure Persian tea. Perfect. In the smallest cafe in the world. <laughs> the smallest tea house in the world. So what? Two people fit? That's it's it. It's really. You can't go in there. <laughs> you can't even go in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, hello. How are you? Very good. Salam, salam. Welcome. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sasanti. Welcome to the smallest 
The smallest house in the world. No way. Look at that. What? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. So we can't even go inside. <laughs> Just stay right here. It's awesome. Oh, a gift from me? Welcome to Iran. So he gave me a coin that says this is his tea house since 1918. Memorable coin. Welcome to Iran. Amazing. Yeah. This is nice. He's the smallest, this, oldest. This is amazing. Cafe in the world. Since 1918, and his father's right there, right? Yeah, yeah. So father. this is uh, what, like third generation? Or, well, it's, it's him. Secondary. Okay, put a little bit there. Wow. It's crystal sugar. Perfect. Merci. We can outside test. Over here, over here? Okay, okay. So where are we going? Where are we going? It's your seat. Right there? And your teeth. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm gonna show you how to drink it and they will wash it. <laughs> no it okay, so you take that, mm -hmm. you put here, like that. Yeah? It's too hot. Or? Yeah, it cools down when you put it in the little plate. You ready? I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'll watch it. Okay, so my turn to try the tea, right? Put this in your mouth? Yeah. Oh. It's hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make it like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. I'll do it one more time. <laughs> It's still like a vapor in my mouth. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, very really nice. Oh, I love this lemon tea. But it's still so piping hot. It's so different with the sugar in your mouth like that. The sugar just dissolves. Incredible. But this is really the only way to do it. Like that. Once you do that, it drops like 15 degrees. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, amazing team. Hey guys. <laughs> cheers. You don't really cheers with tea, but it's okay. It's amazing. How many people are passing by? Everybody's stopping in for a photo. This is so cool. I love this tea shop. Oh, there's so many different flavors here. This one, what, what flavor is this? Tarty. Tarty. This is tart. Just like syrup tart. Mmm. It's good. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It doesn't. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Hey, my friend. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thank you. What a great day. Mm hmm. What a great experience. Yeah. Great experience, yeah, yeah. This is amazing. I love it. I mean, the whole thing, the setting, where we are, sit here, relax, <laughs> maybe have a shisha. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I love but, it. But you guys uh, smoke shisha in Iran, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys love it. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you. My man, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank, you, you, thank, you, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you, thank you. Merci, merci. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me. <laughs> that was the Grand Bazaar in Tehran. We yeah. had an experience here. Tachin. We had Tachin, which we is the rice tachin. cake. We had Orme Sabzi, the stew. Mm -hmm. We had Bogoli Polo with uh, lamb shank. I mean, that, that rice dish with dill yeah. with the lamb shank. Phenomenal. And the kebabs. And the kebabs. <laughs> so you basically exploded their business. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this is straight kebabs here, right? Uh, they got bowl kebab. Which uh, is kubide and chenge, which is lamb meat, and uh, they put uh, butter on top. And it's wow. coming from Ardebil, which is my granddad was uh, living in Ardebil. That's what's the city. North is uh, of uh, Iran, north west of Iran, next to Tabriz. Next to Tabriz. And they speak uh, Azari or Turkish. 
So today is May 27th, 2022. Today's yeah. the Champions League final, Real Madrid versus Liverpool. So after we Real eat... Real Madrid is gonna win. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna add maybe one more here. <laughs> so after this, we're gonna go straight to have some shisha, watch the game. It's yeah, gonna be like... Yeah, we're gonna go to Hong Kong restaurant. I phoned my friend. I, uh, uh, I spoke to him if we can have singer sing for you as well. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Let's go inside and try yeah, some kebabs. Let's, let's go, let's go. Look at it. No, straight up. This is his restaurant. It's not really his restaurant, but his face is everywhere. Look at it. <laughs> it's me everywhere. <laughs> All right. Straight into the kitchen. Whoa. Look at this. Beautiful kebabs. Oh. Oh, it looks so good. This is really all for us. All for us. Oh my gosh. It's another butter. <laughs> Lots of butter. Wow, look at the amount of butter he's putting. <laughs> it's amazing. My man, this is too much. This is gonna be the best. Oh, it's a lot of butter. Wow, wow. Amazing amount of sesame, huh? My mouth is watering, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, go home. Where are you going? I'm going home. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, where's he going? <laughs> I'll show you guys something. Look at this. Look at this wall. So it's Mr. Tasty with everybody. I think I saw Trevor. I saw Trevor right here. Trevor's here. Trevor's up there. How many times has Trevor called me? <laughs> this is phenomenal. Who else we got here? A lot of celebrities, right? So the walls are packed with Mr. Taster and a bunch of celebrities. Over here we have a little fish tank. This is incredible. Oh, I can't wait to try these kebabs. These kebabs are going to be out of this world. And we got some, what, some yogurt? No. With Mr. Taster. It's two? All the rice. All the rice. Look at this. A mountain. <laughs> it's amazing. Right, guys, I'm going to do the same thing they did, but with the rice. So, two bowls. Oh, like that. One more. Just slab it on top. Oh, look at the amount of butter. Oh, no, but hold on, hold on. Oh, the butteriest pepper ever. Mmm. This is going to be an explosion of flavor. Before we start with this incredible kebab platter, we're trying some olives. So it's like, it's like olive paste, right? It's pomegranate. Pomegranate? <laughs> Where has this been all my life? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Zaytou by my day. Hi, my day. It's from North of Iran. Look at the best. I would eat this all day, every day. Wow. Love it. Mm, I love it. It's so nutty. You've been feeding me all day. No, I'm joking. The <laughs> boy for we uh, feed the bread. Okay. And so, so this bread is made upstairs, right? Yeah. We're gonna film it as well. Okay. So we've got kubi there. Mm hmm And then some tomato. Oh, she's just it's, like. It missed the taste there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's just my signature. It's Nobody your style. Your style. So, put some pepper. Mm-hmm. And look at that. A little bit of onion. Onion. Take it. Okay. Have it. So and onion. Then, um, oh. First this one, and then go for and it. that one. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Look at> that. <laughs> it was unreal. Everything's so fresh, so oh, good. My God. I have some onions as well. Mmm. 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 Mm. What a combination. It's like smoky, it's yeah. charred, it's buttery. A little bit of spice with the pepper. Nice tomato, it's like almost like a salsa because it's like burst. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. This is so unique. It's so juicy. Mm -hmm. With the onion. It's just job oh. done. <laughs> oh. Dude. And now let's go. It's incredible. Did you invent this? <laughs> <laughs> so next bite's gonna be chenje. Chenje. So we have two chenje. Okay. And then so that's just meat, right? Just, just chunks meat. of meat. Yeah. We're gonna always burst, break it like that. Mm-hmm. Try this one then. Oh wow. Hey. You ready? I'm ready. Mm-hmm. 
음. 음. 오, 아니야. 와우. What a big bite, huh? Mm. I love this. To the side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get more butter. Chili. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like so drenched in butter, I can't pick it up. <laughs> I love it, man. It's, cool. it's so unique. Mm. The chilies. I've got a plan for you. Once you finish, tell me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. Oh my gosh. It's like the biggest kebab of all time. <laughs> it's your sandwich. <laughs> no! <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> what a monster. But Look, the amount David. of butter is nuts. <laughs> mm. I gotta make it half. Look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. My hands are drenched and buttered. Yeah. Mm. 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 Amazing. Amazing. I'm just gonna grab a piece here. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> so good. It's too big, isn't it? That's too big. <laughs> but I love the bread. It looks like almost spongy. Yeah, it's, it's really juicy. When well, we have this bread, huh? Look at this bread. Yeah. <laughs> Little heart. All right, so the same thing here, but with rice, right? Yes. And then what is this? This is duk. Duk. It's uh, yogurt and mint okay. and butter. And so again, this is like another like palate cleanser, right? In it, a way. It, 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 you will go to a sleep straight away after drinking it. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. That's good, that's good. That's good. A mm, little sour, a little bitter. Yeah. That's good. So this so, one, how do we do it? So take the... Spoon? Spoon and fork. Okay. So we have it like this. So break. Break the kebab. Mm -hmm. Half the rice. Get some tomato. Some tomato and some pepper. Well, say that, we get a pepper. I love co the combinations, right? Yeah. If I can get it, <laughs> it's a little hard here. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. Mm. Mm. What do you think about the Persian rice? Persian rice is amazing. It's good. Saffron, butter, mm, it's like everything you need, right? Yeah. Just have to change it. The change it. To fair fair. Oh my, but look at the bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. oh. 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 More is coming. More. <laughs> More give up. More oh Adijan. Oh my god. Adijan, be a You know, that's, that's a lot of food. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, this is something so special about the way they combine everything. Yeah, it comes it's happy with our heart. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> what do you like to get? I personally, like this the most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the kubide. Oh, the kubide, you like it? It's the best, Kerber man. Everybody loves it. Oh, man, the minced meat. Get some of the rice on top. Good one. Mm. Mm. It's truly kebab heaven right here. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, some people can't eat as much meat. I can eat all of it. <laughs> I won't stop. Personally, like meat, I don't fill up that much. If I yeah. cut the rice, cut the bread, all the meat, man. Oh. Mm. Cool video, man. This straight into his mouth. <laughs> Why not, right? Wow. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel good. Feel good? Mm. <laughs> Amazing. I feel like you hit a wall, right? It's like, oh my god. Worse to come. More to come? Worse to come from 
US to have this camera. Okay, yeah, yeah. Back. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Just for this one. Yeah. I think first day you get here, you come here for this. <laughs> mm. This is incredible. So how long have you been in business? Cancel in Joe Mashmuni. 10 years. 10 years? Congratulations. This is so good. Yeah, I'm in love with it. it. That's true. I'm going to rank this like top kebab. Well, this is the first kebab I tried so far. <laughs> <laughs> and this? we we'll finish it with that girl. Yeah. Mm. 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 And what do we have here? What are these? That's yogurt. It's yogurt. Right. It's really nice. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, that's potent yogurt. Mm. You know, I've been to Lebanon. This reminds me of a lot of flavors I had oh, in Lebanon. Yeah. yeah, very garlic country, right? <laughs> yeah. No, but it's good. It's good. It's different. And of course, if you don't like garlic, you won't be able to eat yeah. this. Mmm. Maybe this with a little bit of that. Wow. Maybe like this? Yeah, just dip it. Mm -hmm. How's that? It's so tasty. That bread's awesome. Yeah. Sesame seeds, nice and crispy. I love the crispy breads. Most breads here are like this, right? Very thin. All right, guys, we're going to go take a small break. We're going to go upstairs to the bakery to see them making the lavash bread. No problem, no problem. Let's do it. You're so nice. You're so nice, sir. Okay, guys. Salam, salam. Salam, salam. Salam, salam. So that's how it makes the tiny little air pockets, right? Wow. It's amazing. So now he's gonna make a heart. So he has a flat in it for that machine. The presser. He's gonna put it on the little pillow. So he's cutting up a heart, right? Oh wow, look at that heart. I can't even believe it. He like literally shaped up a heart and cut it up. And look at how crispy this lavash bread is. So crispy. And what you put on top? It's like a, what is this? A sesame seeds and oregano. Konjek. Konjek, Okay, konjek. Don't know, it's another herb, right? Konjek. Woo, look how fast it goes. How many minutes? One minute. One time you get. So it has to go around two times. Most likely, because it already got super crispy in that one rotation. From his heart to me. It's amazing, it's amazing. Wow, that was so good. So cool. Thank you, Mr. David. These guys are too Mr. kind, too David kind. Too thank kind. you, thank you. No, that was so good. That lavash bread, the way they make it, so simple, so delicious. Wow. What ingredients, right? Very the main cool, thing with Mr. bread David. is the water and the dough. Where that Very comes cool. from makes it really good. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I think Mr. Taster's finished my food. Did you finish the food? Yeah. You finished everything. I finished everything and I had, I had fruit as well. No! <laughs> you know, for me guys, I can't, I can't leave without having more of this. Mm, with the butter. Mm. Can't lie to you. Part of the best one I ever had in my life. Best. Well, it's too good. <laughs> Too good. Taking photos non stop here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Look at this guy. He doesn't stop. <laughs> My man, again, one more time. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I see you next time. Next time. Thank you. Merci, merci. For me? No, you're too much, man. You're too much. Guys, this is crazy. He just gave me honey and honeycomb to take home. But like, a kilo. Yes, honey, honeycomb. <laughs> you're too much. Thank you so much. Thank you. People are too kind thank here. Thank you, Mr. David. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. You. Mr. Taster. <laughs> Dude, we did it, we did it. <laughs> Finally. Wow, and this is our bus. This is what we're riding in all the way down to Shiraz. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Bastek. Bastek and Jenna. Oh, wow. It's like... Uh, from Shiraz, it's almost six hours to Bastek. <laughs> oh, now we're going to take a little break and then we're going to have some shisha, live music, and the game. Where are we? <laughs> we are in Papa restaurant and the singer just came for David. No way. He's singing for David tonight. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Amazing, huh? Yeah, quite amazing. This is such a beautiful restaurant. Like, I love the yeah, decor. Very luxurious. Yeah, super luxurious. We're all having just yeah. fruit and tea because it's so late. It's uh, it's almost midnight. It's 11:15, 11:20. The game starts right now. We're gonna probably watch just the first half. It's getting really late. This yeah. thing finishes like at two in the morning. That's right. So who do you got winning? Obviously, Real, right? Yes. <laughs> wow. So, Sabzi, no? Yeah, Borma Sabzi. Borma Sabzi. If you come to Iran, you shouldn't miss it. This is the best. This dish is so good. He's always feeding me here. Yeah. Are you gonna feed me? Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. It's a bit hot. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm. Oh, I love it. It's such a good dish, man. Mm. So much herbs and lemon here as well, right? Yeah. Curry the lamb. It's unreal. Go for it. At the end of the trip, I'm gonna count how many times you feed me. <laughs> this is the best one right here. This is just a nutty, herbal, meaty stew. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> he likes onions. <laughs> onions all day. So the game was delayed about half an hour, so it's midnight when they started. And we're trying some like melon juice. Oh, it's good. good. Melon, huh? It's like pure. <laughs> it's pure, it's so good. Oh man, it's halftime. Unfortunately, it was offside the goal, so yeah. it's, it's over. No, no. It's a no, no. It's yeah. zero, zero. <laughs> well, so today we went to Kesar Kebab. Yeah, Kesar Kebab. kebab. The best kebabs ever. Kebabs in a bowl. You have it with rice, you have it with the bread. It's his spot. He started it, basically. <laughs> he went there when there were three people, now there's 70. 73 people now. 73 people. Yeah. I mean, some of the tastiest kebabs of my life. You know, it's the first kebab I try here, so I think it's the best so far. Yeah. We're gonna try a lot of kebabs on this trip, yeah. though. Yeah. And then after that, we came here. We watched the game. We had some some more shisha. Again. <laughs> yeah, more again. Yeah, more again. Liked it. I loved it. I love it. It's so good. Okay. It's yeah, eleven. One hour delay. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting a little late. Yeah. Unfortunately, big traffic jams here in Tehran. We're gonna have some breakfast. So, what is breakfast here? There's an old cafe uh, called Saad Cafe in Tajush Square, which is um, next to Tajush Bazaar. Look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. This is like an old school cafe. 
Right? We've been here with Trevor. Oh yeah? Just for the for the green pitch egg and omelet. Amazing. Hello, hello, hello. Salam, salam. How are you doing? Hello. Salam, salam. We get some eggs here. Mm, smells so good. All right, so we're gonna start off with some omelet. These eggs are heavy on oil. Basically, the pan is full of oil. Then he puts two eggs inside. Then next to it, he has like some tomato paste, right? So it's actually tomato. Tomato. He's putting in the pan and mixing it with um, egg. But normally at home, we use uh, turmeric in it and also onions and garlic sometimes. And garlic. Yeah. Wow. Looks good, it smells great. I'm a huge fan of eggs with tomato. So yeah. good, with bread? You guys have bread, of course. Yeah, yeah, bread. They got uh, barberry bread. Barberry bread. Mmm, yeah. it's gonna be good. So light spices in here, right? Yeah. Wow, look at that egg. Is that for us? Let's go, let's go. I'm hungry. It's time for some Persian omelet. Ali, Ali, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Having some tea? Yeah. And there's breakfast. I'm ready to go. You ready? Yeah. So we just dip it in here? Dip it in here. Like that. Oh. <laughs> Get all that yolk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bite. <laughs> you have a big bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> These are so fresh, huh? Mm. Mm. And the breads are very, very thin and crispy. This is super nice. Look, nice and doughy, right? Look at this, guys. Omelette. Omelette. This is incredible. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, I get as much as possible, right? Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Tomato is like next level. Wow. Mm. Not wow. No, wow. wow. <laughs> that was like. Oh, it's so good. And it's light. Nice and oily. Giving to Mr. Ali. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not fair, we eat all the time and he's watching us. <laughs> I know, he knows watching. Don't do that, please. Oh, it's some onion, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So sharp. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Crazy combination, huh? That. Mm. Wow. Love it. What a way to start a day, huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing this. <laughs> it's like sugar stick. Yeah. So where do they make this? Because he was saying it's a different uh, like in Yads or something, right? In my shop, in there are many factories making it. I love the setting here. Super old school cafe, yeah, yeah. like a Persian cafe. Yeah. Incredible. So what else do they serve? Just eggs and... Um, and, uh, omelet and for lunch, they serve, uh, I think, dizzy. Dizzy. And some, some other foods like zeresh polo, sabzi polo. Oh, so they have a mix of stuff. Makarani, yeah, I didn't know that. Kufte Tabrizi, the many, many foods here. Mm. We should come for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is the best eggs. So you come here a lot? No. No? My last time was with Trevor. Oh, last time was with Trevor. So Trevor James was here. Yeah. He was ranging on that food. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Is that eggs and, eggs and tomato as well? Yeah? Yeah. So it's almost like a, I don't even know, like a poached egg with tomato, right? That's what's happening here. Yeah, so they put it here. Ooh, it's super, super hot. I love this type of place, right? Super relaxing, super chill. And they open early, I'm sure, but we got here a little late. It's okay. And you see many old people, it's like... Yeah, yeah. A lot of regulars, right? Yeah. They've been coming here for, you know, 50 years. I think that's paprika. I personally love paprika. Really? Yeah, yeah, nice spice, right? It's red pepper, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's a mix, right? Red pepper. Red pepper? Yeah. Oh, so it's not paprika? No, no. Okay. I thought it was paprika. Just get it like that, like a little scoop. 
Oh yeah, and if you want it more spicy. Mmm, like it. I love it. Oh wow. Red pepper. Yeah. Mmm, red pepper. Mmm. It's almost like a. Um, <coughs> it is like a spicy <laughs> pepper. <laughs> it's phenomenal though. Like it's spicy. Yeah, it's a little spicy. <laughs> Can't get enough for the tea. This tea is so good. Oh, this is a great day. Yeah. Great day. And in Real Madrid won, a la Madrid. <laughs> Just go like that, get everything. What a great day. No, no, you're good, right? <laughs> Oh, pleasure meeting you too. Pleasure, pleasure. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you so much. Pleasure, pleasure. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Pleasure. So, what was the price? What was the price? Only twenty-five thousand tomans. Twenty-five thousand? Tomans. Yeah. It's cheap. Nemo is twenty thousand. The egg. Got it. That's less than one dollar per dish. Incredible. Super affordable. Must come here. I'm full, but we have a lot of eating to do. <laughs> Next one is next door, uh, Said Mehdi Ash. Because right downstairs. Ash, Ash Rishde, Halim, and Ash Shola Galamkar. Oh my god, Halim is super filling. Yeah, but. <laughs> Alright. Oh and this is it right next door? Yes. Exactly next door. Wow. Oh. So, what is it? It's, it's like noodles, noodles, chickpeas. Beans, chickpeas, vegetables. Wow, it looks incredible. It's really famous here. Wow. What's that? Curd? Curd. Mint. Onion. That's it. And that's the dish right here. Oh, with some lavash? Some lavash, yeah. Look at the halim. Yeah. Incredible. Thick halim. Put some, what, some clarified butter right there? Some ghee? Wow, what is that? It's a different seeds, huh? Yeah, sesame seeds at the very end. So it's sugar, cinnamon, and sesame. All right, Ali, are you ready for this? Yeah, it's going to be great. It's I'm excited. Last time I had Halima was in Pakistan. It's been a while. So we're we sitting over here. Over there? Nice. Oh, this is great. Love this place. Wow. So it's mint, onion, and curd. And curd. And yeah. under it, we have the chickpeas, we have the noodles, noodles we have yeah. beans. Wow. Vegetables. So it's mixed, right? Again, normally mom's cooking it much better than outside, but it's okay. still more... Of uh, course. It's still delicious. I mean, home cooked meals is very different, yeah. right? And do I eat it with the lavash? Um, not really. You not don't really. have to, no. Okay, so then we just go in. Yeah. I like curd. <laughs> you love curd? Yeah, 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 me too, man. You ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm, it's so good. Oh man, combination of flavors yeah. here, right? Mmm. The curd like makes it a little lighter, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I get you more of this. Okay. Next one? Yeah. So it's uh, Halim. It's coming from Neshabur and they put famous you on top. But in Tehran, they're having sesame, um, Cinnamon and sugar. Oh wow! So they make it a little sweet with that, exactly. right? Yeah, and, and you know, more sticky, it means more meat. More meat, of more course. More delicious. But you can't see that. Wow! Look how sticky it is, guys. Yeah, that's a sticky. It's like a very pasty. Yeah, and many people are using it in Ramadan. They have ashreshte and halim, and mostly using it in the morning. So you have to have it like before 9 o'clock in the morning. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be a nice sweet halim. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Some people, they don't have it with sugar. Somebody put salt instead. Salt instead? Yeah. But I'm a fan of sugar always. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to mix it well, right? Yeah. Make everything go throughout. Exactly. Look at that. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Wow. Look how sticky it is. Pasty. Yeah. Let me get a good amount here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like noodle. <laughs> it's like noodle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright, ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. 
<laughs> the cinnamon. Oh, it's so sweet. It's freaking ridiculous. Yeah. It's the most decadent halim I've ever had. Really? Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Oh, wow. I love it. This is like the ultimate halim. Mm. If you have a sweet tooth, this is your jam. Yeah. Mmm. And if you go to Neshapur, you're gonna love more. Yeah? Yeah. But it's still good though. Wow. I'll tell you, so far, my favorite dish is this of the morning. Really? Yeah, wow. yeah. This is amazing. Wow. Mmm. It's just funny that you thought you were gonna love that one, and then you love this one more. Well, when you hit me with cinnamon, uh, yeah. it's like, bro, give me cinnamon all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, nice with the se sesame seeds, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Best Salim I've ever had. Good. Fantastic. Yeah, best Salim in the world. <laughs> Come to Iran. Come. Come to Iran. Gain some weight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. I, mean, I, love, I love it. it. The bread is just there for decoration? Um, if you're hungry. So if you're hungry, you add the bread? So, I mean, I think with this, what you could do is go like this. I never do that. Never? No. But people do it, right? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. For Halim, you, no. No, you don't think so? No. So why is it here? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a Halim taco. It's David, David's way of eating Halim. Yeah, you see why. Mm. Why they don't have it with the bread. Mm. <laughs> oh, but it's so good together. <laughs> I love the lavash. Good. Lavash bread is so delicious. Mmm. Wow, that is filling. <laughs> <laughs> this is also a very old uh, restaurant, right? Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Super high ceilings, lots of decorations, right? Yeah. Super cute decor. The celebrity here, always taking selfies. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, what do we have here? One sec. Goja Sabs. Goja Sabs. Yeah. Okay, so let's try this. Let's, let's, try, it. let's try it together. Just gotta wash it really fast. <laughs> it's great. So, right when you enter here, lots of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The sour is good. Nice and meaty. Oh. The best. So good. Mm. Is it that put in? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So refreshing. It's sour. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very sour. But I got this. Yeah. Nice, better than mine. So here you're entering the bazaar, you have a bunch of fruits and vegetables, and right here we have grape leaves. This is what they use to roll the dolmas, right? Dolmatis. Yeah, it's for dolma. And here, in, how do you make the dolma? With meat and rice uh, or just meat rice? Meat and rice. Meat and rice, yeah. okay. Yeah, so every country does it differently. Obviously, Greece, Turkey, very big there. This is the best. I love and it. You must try it in Iran, because dolma here is far delicious from other countries. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe some saffron in it, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, let's go inside the bazaar. Let's go, let's go. So what's the name of this bazaar? This is Tajris Market. Tajris Market. Yeah, in the north of Tehran. And mm -hmm. it is one of the very interesting area for the tourists to get around to see the actual market and different stuff that are carried in the market. Yeah, so local produce, like right? Local people here. It yeah. is a very nice area to see the local people, the so, housewives getting around to actually buy their uh, needs. So it is a very uh, nice area for everybody. Yeah, so there's one main alley, right? And on the left and the right, you're gonna see a lot of date vendors, yeah, spices. This, this is very different, actually. This market is not a market. It is a religious place called Tekye. It is okay. a gathering area for uh, the holy month of Maharam that we just uh, get some mourning for the death of the third Imam. And then it is quite different from other markets. I got it, I got it. Oh man, but look at that vendor over yeah, there. Down that's, there a little oh, look down. at that. That's the evil eyes everywhere. Yeah. Let, let's go see that. Let's go, okay. let's go. Let's go. Right here you have a amazing date vendor. Lots of dates. Hey guys, how you doing? Looks so good. I'll come back later, I'll try some. And uh, over here, more spices, walnuts. You have, oh, the rose. Oh wow, I can't wait to have some rose water. Rose water in the south. We'll see more of this. This is too good. Wow, smells incredible. Yeah. The fragrance. You know, everything is very fresh, as you see. Everything's fresh. Right here we have, you know, lettuce. Spinach. We have spinach, we have garlic. Yeah. What else we have? Onions. Onions, a bunch of stuff, right? 
This vendor has a lot of evil eyes up here. This is Turkish. These are Iran, right? These are Iranian made or Iranian made. Amazing. So I love them. So what's the price again? You said like two and three dollars, right? Two dollars. Two dollars? Okay, I'm going to take three uh, for my daughters. Let me see. What do you got? Beautiful colors. I think I, I, I like the red, so I'll take one red. Red? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's beautiful. Uh, very nice. Okay, and then I'll take this one. Okay. Yeah, it's very special, right? Yeah. My friend, merci, merci. Okay. Love it, love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Merci, merci. Yes, yes. Let's keep going. <laughs> you back? Where were you? <laughs> I was just going around the bazaar. <laughs> so what do we have here? Just fruits and vegetables, clothing, right? Yes, that's it. So this place really doesn't end, huh? Just a mix of everything. You got souvenirs, you have clothing, you have stuff for kids, you have lots of fruits, vegetables. And over here, it's super bright. Look at this. It's so bright. All taste. All taste. And what's this? Like a... It's a fruit. This is a white berry. Can I try, a Can I try a white berry? It's so sweet, isn't it? Mmm. So enough. sweet. Yeah. I've never had a white berry like this. Really? <laughs> yeah, I've only had blackberries and cranberries, raspberries. It's amazing. Take one more. This is too good. Mm -hmm. More selfies over here. Trying to escape the crowds. <laughs> oh wow, so what is this? So, this is a, a mosque and this is the minaret? But this is not actually a mosque. Oh, it's not a mosque? It's a holy shrine. Okay, wow. And, uh, uh, it is, of course, very you... similar to the mosque. And the architecture is the same. We have the minaret, we have the dome, the arches, the tiles, the calligraphy. But the difference is we have the same, actually the tomb of a holy person. That this one goes to the brother of 8th Imam in Shiaz, Imam Reda. Look at the colors, guys. Gorgeous. It really reminds me of Uzbekistan. The Marabergs inside. This is the just stunning. The very huge chandelier here. Wow. The Heilbergs, the calligraphy, the sign of old and, uh, you know, pre and post Islamic era in Iran. Here we see, for example, the domes date back to post Islamic era. The, mm -hmm. the arches, the walls date back to pre Islamic era. So it's a very nice, uh, you know, combination of old ancient Iranian architecture here. So we just entered this like mirror room, mm -hmm. a prison session, so we're gonna be really, really quiet. We just wanna show you how gorgeous this is. Look at this, it's just like, it's like beautiful, shining, shining. Shimmering of the light here all the time. You see the shimmering lights all around. No, it's worth it. I love it. Really? Yeah. And that's our mini tour of Tajris area. So we had two breakfasts. We had eggs with tomato with bread. Phenomenal. After that, we had the halim. Ashishte. Ashishte. And then we explored the bazaar. We saw the shrine. We had gorgeous abs. Gorgeous abs. The, the green. Oh, the unripe peach. peach. Yeah. We also had uh, the white berry. I mean, this place is a must. Definitely come here in the morning between 9 a.m. and midday. Walk around, explore, and eat lots of They're food. You're going to have fun, yeah. You're going to have lots of fun. Yeah. Guys, we're going on the ultimate lunch tour right now. Yeah. What are we doing? We are in Shandiz, Jordan. It's really famous in Mashhad. You never had it like this in, in the whole world. I promise that. And then after this, we're going to two other spots. We're going for Dizi, which is a really famous traditional dish in Iran. And also, we're going to Sand restaurant with lots of kebabs as well. So not stop, so not stop me. Kebabs. Me, you me, never, me. You never met these kebabs before. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I haven't met them yet, but I'm going to eat them. <laughs> Let's go inside. Here we go. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> salam, 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 David, David, a pleasure, David, pleasure, pleasure, salam, salam, thank you, thank you. Now this is fancy. <laughs> hey, hello, hello, salam, salam, salam. This place feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Salam, salam. This place is amazing. It's like a huge banquet hall. Look at this. Huge. Incredible. Mr. Hosendi. Hello, David. Hello. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Amazing, amazing. The king of the king of Shishlik and Shandi in Iran, in all Iran. Wow. I can't wait. He said the best lamb shank or best lamb chops. Best lamb chops. I told him that the best lamb shishlik in the world and the best lamb in the world. Thank you. Let's have a good time. 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 Thank you.
It's like a block. It's almost like a super condensed sugar cookie, right? Mostly sugar and uh, so. rose, I think. I'm not sure. Rose butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rose. Mm. So good. Also, that one is very delicious. Let's mm. try. I'm gonna try half, right? Oh yeah. Super dense. Mm hmm. Mm. So decadent. Oh my gosh. Tea with all this sugar. Great combo because I have no sugar in here. So that sugar rush right here. Mm hmm. Yeah, it sweetens it up. My friend, mercy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, kitchen. Let's go. Straight to the kitchen to see the lamb chops and the tachin. The tachin, the best rice cake. All right. Woo! <laughs> Entering the kitchen. Salam, salam. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. The lamb chops. Wow. Oh, it's kubide, right? Oh, yeah. This, this is lokmen. Yeah. Lokmen. It's bigger than kubide. Oh, it's bigger? Yeah. That one. Guys, it's an inferno in here. Yeah. Amazing. Super hot. We have like 150 lamb chops right here. <laughs> we have lum, lumbe. Lumbe? Is it called? Um, lokmen. Lokmen. So it's a little different, but it's still uh, a mix of beef and, and same, lamb. Same mix, yeah. Perfect. Wow. Wow, it is incredibly hot here. The amber is hitting you. Wow. It's incredible. And these guys literally have to cover their face because yeah. it's so hot. <laughs> nah, so fast. Oh, man, the aroma. Crazy, huh? So good. Look at the amount of juiciness coming out of those. Beautiful lumne, lumne. And here they come with the lamb chops now? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lots of shishlings. Oh my gosh. I've never seen this much. I've never seen this much. I won't lie, I was excited for the lamb chops, but the lamb shank, that's ridiculous. I mean, in this incredible oil of fats, wow. The smell in here, the aroma just pops. The chicken, the lamb chops, the lumne, lumne, right? This is in the fire all day. All right, I'm out of here. All right, let's go eat. Ready, ready? Thank you, thank you. Ready? Let's go, let's go. Let's go eat. So we're going back upstairs, we're going VIP, right? <laughs> you're VIP. No, you're VIP. <laughs> that one, okay. Okay, wow. So this is the VIP room, gorgeous. I mean, this is like the ultimate lap of luxury room. Beautiful, super high ceilings, lots of chandeliers. I mean, this is where you come if you want to go on a date, for sure. As soon as you walked in, lights are super dim. The music is super loud. Obviously, they changed that for me. But um, yeah, it's definitely a place you should visit. But we're going to go back downstairs and get with the mix of people. Let's go back in. <laughs> All right, guys, we have so many delicious things here. We got the lamb chops, lamb shank, tachin. We have the lo mein, and we have some more rice. It's, it's bigger version of kubide. Bigger version of kubide, this one right here. This wow. is phenomenal. Okay, so how do we start? Yeah, we start with the rice. And this is for me. One little one? Wow, <laughs> um, buttery rice. <laughs> I smell it. I smell it. Oh, wow. <laughs> smells so good, <laughs> melted, man. It smells so good. <laughs> What is this, a raw egg? Yeah. What? Look at that. I'm poor fishing on it. So you're getting rid of the, the egg white? It. Yeah, the white, uh, the white piece should go out. Okay. Just the yellow section. So the yolk. Going, yeah. The yolk is going on, on top of the rice. Oh Mix my gosh. Are you serious? Yeah. Try it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is going to be amazing. It's going to make it like a glue. Yeah. Tomato, okay. Take this Perfect. Yeah. Like that. So you get a lot of that. Yeah. You ready? Tomato paste, yeah. Let's go. So rice with the tomato. Okay. And take it in your hand. And the lamb chop. Yeah. Together. Ready? Okay, ready, ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. The best rice of all time right here. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm. Thank you. I told you. Combination? <laughs> Out of this world. Mm hmm. These are your lamb chops. Wow. The bone. Mm hmm. 
The rice is like, it's all like glued together now. Mm. These lamb chops though, so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So juicy, tender. Yeah. Mm. For me, I already eat lamb chop every day. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I've had so many some amazing rice dishes. This one is like top three now. Really? Oh my gosh. The egg yolk. The saffron too. Mm. This is the lorme. Lorme is with lamb. Mm -hmm. Somebody mixing some beef in it as well. But this one is pure lamb. Pure lamb? You can taste it. Yeah. Mm. And with the rice together, oh. what a dish. We've had so much amazing food in two days. This is up there. <laughs> and over here, we haven't, even, we haven't even tried this. Yeah. Tachin, look at this. Look at that. All the rice, crispy layer on the yeah. bottom. See the crispiness, nano amount. Mm -hmm. So crispy. It's yogurt, egg, and saffron. Mm. This one, I think it's the better one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't think they do this, but I'll try everything. Put a little bit of that on top. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good catch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I never tried it. Let's try it. Crazy combo. Yes, it is time for the lamb shank. And the bone marrow right there. Yeah. Oh. Give it to me. Say <laughs> like, give it. For me. you? For me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what, I'll do it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the juiciest lamb shank ever. Ever. Isn't it? It melts. Yeah. Oh my god. It's literally melting my mouth. <laughs> How's it? The best one of all time. Oh, it's good. It's so juicy. You, yeah. Mm. A little sweet too. Yeah. A little sweet. Okay, here I go. <laughs> the one more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love it. Have some, please. Uh, Ali, Ali, John. Ali, you want some? My chair. Yeah, I'm gonna cut right here, look. Look at that, look, it just falls. Cool. We're gonna have some. Please. I'm gonna have this. Listen. Oh. Try this bit. That bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best part of it. Go for it. Right there. How's it? <laughs> It's like so oily yeah. and juicy and fatty. And mix it with some rice, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm gonna do it even better. Oh. <laughs> the meat, the fat, the oils, and this drench into the touching. Mmm, makes it crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Give me more. Oh, and there's nice, right here, um... Um, onion juice. Caramelized onions, right? Mm. No onion juice. I'm in awe. Full. This restaurant's a must. <laughs> this is too good. Are you full? Nah, man, come on. I'm full. Man. I'm full too, and we still have a lot of food to go. <laughs> Mm. Tachin. Tachin. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's hard being a taster. It's also hard being an eater. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. That was phenomenal. I am popping. So much good food. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I can't anymore.
I mean, I would come back here for the lamb thing, for sure. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go, let's go. Made it. Oh, we need a break. <laughs> <laughs> break from food, not a break from exploring. We just lost all the lamb shank we had. <laughs> running? Too much running. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. All right. After a 20 minute drive, we made it here to the famous DZ. DZ, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> it's the most famous Iranian traditional dish. Okay. And it's really heavy. Normally we have it with the family uh, for Friday lunch because it's almost a uh, holiday. We have it and we, then we asleep. All right, let's go, let's go. Hello, hello. David. What's up, man? Pleasure, nice to meet you. <laughs> what up, what up? <laughs> well, this place is amazing. Wow, look at this. Loving this restaurant. It reminds me of like a Greek tavern, you know, white, blue. But now we're going straight into the kitchen. All right, all right. Salam, salam. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Ooh, it's hot. It's like oh, it's boiling. Really hot. Yeah. So that's this, right? Yeah, that's it. It's coming to the table, so we can have the meat juice first, and then then we mash um, potato, uh, meat, lamb, definitely lamb, some fat in it. We've got tomato, chickpeas, beans. We mash it all together. Bop, 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 bop. So it's all cooking in these pots. Yeah. Extremely hot. It's it's, it's a long cook as well. So it's, it's slow cooked. Exactly. Wow, oh, guys. The smell here, the lamb, tomato. Almost four hours. Four hours, yeah. slow cooked four hours. Yeah. This is unreal. I've never seen this in my really? life. Yeah, this I'll is. I'll show you. Look, this is the fat. This is the key thing. Look, it's ugly, bubbly. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. Look. Oh my god. Okay, guys, let's go to the table. They're gonna show us a little show, right? Hello, hello. Look at this guy. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Salam, salam. All right, let's go. Let's go. Merci, merci, merci. Ali, this restaurant is full of these beautiful paintings. What is this? These are mostly taken from one of the literary works of the country, actually uh, written several hundred years ago, several decades ago, in the 4th century. It was called Ferdowsi, and he wrote a book called Epics of the Kings. This is the Du. The Du. Yeah. There it is. Let me explain it for you. He's putting fat and mash it and then adding the juice after that. And he's going to mash it's got lamb, potato and beans and oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Dude, this is incredible. He's mixing and mixing, mixing yeah. the meat, the beans, everything in there. Wow, it's almost like a puree. It's so exciting. It is exciting. This is gonna be incredible. <laughs> like it reminds me of Halim. So first we get the fat, right? Test the part on top. Get all this fat, put it in here, yeah, and then get some of this, right? Yeah, basically oily, and then just mix with it. Oh, with that, okay. it, yeah. it's like an oily scramble of fat. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's good. Now what do we do? We pour this in. Here's showing you. Okay. Now I eat straight. Like on top? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, crumbly. Okay, okay, perfect. So keep crumbling. Yeah. Nice. So this is what you guys do in a lot of these dishes, right? Exactly. Just crumble some of the bread. Cleat. Cleat. Just hold it right there. Yeah. Oh. oh man. How do you know how to do that? To be honest, I don't know how to do this. I'm trying my best here. Oh, but this pot is piping hot. Ooh, and then next up, I gotta go in here and just mash everything, right? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's that oil, <gasps> guys! The mix here: chickpeas, beans, potato. Whoa, it's popping out. <gasps> it's still so hot, dude. It's gonna be insane. Still super hot. Let's try to mix it. Ay, ay, ay. We shouldn't see any water in it. Oh no, it has so to be like completely yeah, covered in bread? Put some more bread, like that. Let's see, we need much more than that. Oh wow, so you just gotta like bind it with bread. Yeah. There is a famous song singing about Dizzy. Oh yeah, about Dizzy. Chimigo? Chimigo has in the boat. Has in the boat, Dizzy. 
قضا به این لذیذی از زنده با دیزی It's really famous song. So we got turnip or greens or onions or we can have it with pickles Obviously pickles or chili pickles or onion pickles So you put this into it? No. No, it's on the side? No. No, uh, it's up to you. You know, you eat it, you know, you can put it in there. But for greens, you should have it in your hand like that. Or have it like that. And then... Oh, wow. Mm. No. Mau. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> the fat? Yeah. You taste the fat right away. Yeah. It hits you. It's chili pickles. Mm -hmm. And for me as well. <laughs> it's super spicy. Super spicy? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. I don't know how spicy it is because <laughs> I love spice. Let's go. Oh yeah, spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm. It's hot, isn't it? It's hot. Mm. 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 <laughs> but I love it together, right? <laughs> it's burning my, the, the, my tongue. <laughs> this thing is like mouth water in this dish. So we tried it because we tried it with greens and you can have, have it with a little of onion. Mm -hmm. That's far better. I love it with the onion. Mm -hmm. The onion is really good. Man, I love onion. The onion is potent though. Yeah. Wow. Mm. <laughs> oh man, this is incredible. Mm. It's like a bread stew with fat. Yeah. Basically. Fat. Exactly. Yeah? That's filling. Mm, huge meal, but we haven't even got to this yet, right? No. If you have it on Friday, normally we have this dish on Friday. We have it in other days as well, but Friday mm. lunch is the best time because it's holiday, so you can go to a sleep straight away after this meal. So it's nice. This is heavy. The onion making you sleepy as well, and the dough making you sleepy as well. So go straight to bed after having this eat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, it's nice. I mean, it's a little sour, of course. Yeah. It's it's more watery yogurt, right? Exactly. Uh, so this, and then now we jump into this guy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. How do we do it? I'll show you. Oh, it's beautiful. Juice. Some juice on top. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Like that? Okay. You ready? I'm ready. It reminds me of Halim. The textures, right? No, it's completely different. It's completely different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's, meaty. It. it's meaty. Meaty. Mm. Mm. It's so nice. Mm. Mm. I love a cinnamon ass bite. Mm -hmm. so sweet. Oh, what a combination. I really wish we would have tried it without the cinnamon, but that's how you have to have it, right? Always with cinnamon. Mm. It's like mashed up meat. Mm -hmm. Without cinnamon. Straight in there. Oh, that's for you, bro. That's for you. I'm good. I'm like, no cool, way. man. No, no, no. Just try it without cinnamon. Just one bite. Oh. No, don't have it all together. Yeah, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Without cinnamon. Mm. Oh, man. The lamb. The more? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> At this we point. We call it kushkubide. Kushkubide. Yeah, means mashed meat. Mashed meat. Well, you can see all the different things in there, right? So yeah. we have some beans, it's chickpeas, like chickpeas as well. Some people putting the right onion, uh, the right uh, lemon as well. Dried lemon as well? Yeah, some some places. 
No, 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 it's for you. <laughs> it's okay. You know what? I'll have a little more. Mm -hmm. Mash meat. Mm -hmm. Put the bread. Oh, I'm full. What do we have here? We've got pommier. Pommier. It's a special sweet. You're gonna love it. Okay. Let's try the sweet. Yeah. This is pommier. Pommier. So it's like a nice crispy dough with sugar syrup. Yeah. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. Cheers. You make the sweetness with the tea. Mmm. Great combo. Mm hmm. Nice. So it's really crispy, doughy inside, and lots of sugar syrup. Yeah. Basically, a diabetic's nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Very nice. In Ramadan, when they break the fast, usually with sweets, right? Dates. Yeah. Most places you use dates, right? Yeah, yeah. But you also you have yeah, this. We also have this one. Amazing. Because Zulbia or Bamiya. This is Bamiya. Zulbia well, is different shape. Well, so far two restaurants. One, one to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> merci, 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 guys, merci. Oh, guys, my belly is full. This was fantastic, though. Oh, dizzy, dizzy. Hey, merci, merci, merci. Oh. So far, so good. Oh, I'm ready. You know, it's funny for me. Once I get there and I see the food, yeah. I start salivating and my stomach opens up. <laughs> I tell you, you're going to be more surprised next time. Okay, okay. <laughs> to be honest, I need to walk, but it's good to be in a bus with this heat. <laughs> one more spot, one more spot. Too much food today. <laughs> <laughs> Too much food. Yeah, we're going to... Sahan restaurant is giving Tabrizi food. Tabrizi? Yeah, Tabrizi is in northwest of Iran and next to Ardemil and they got amazing food. Uh, trust me. Uh, they got lots of kebabs, and very nice rice. They closed? They closed. No, I'm joking. Let's go. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. David, pleasure. Salam, salam. Salam. Hey, salam, salam. <laughs> no problem, no problem. A skele yeah. kebab. Yeah, he's going to make in front of you. Okay, perfect. Yeah? Let's do it. He's really good. He's expert. Give him a little time. So he's cutting this piece of beef in half. Oh, wow. He's pounding it. Incredible. Yeah, he's making a skele kebab. So one one side is we call it senje, and then the other side is minced kebab. So it's coming on top. It's, it's a piece of art. Saffron. A saffron. Yeah. Wow. So he's just drenching that chicken in saffron. Sizing it. He's sizing it, huh? Yeah. Making sure it's exactly the size of this. Um, I forgot what the name of it is, but it's usually for fish, right? Yeah. This. So now he's going to cover it with the minced lamb. After watching this process for about 10 minutes, now he's going to move the meat, the kebab, onto this, uh, this kebab cage. <laughs> All right, let's see it, let's see it. Okay, whoa. Straight to the grill now. Let's go, let's go. Woo! So what is he adding there? It's uh, onion juice. Onion juice? Yeah. Ooh. The second dish is, I named it for the first time because I had it here. And we call it hati polo or mixed polo. It's a mix of uh, kubide bag, uh, butter, somak, and butter sugar. Tomato? Rice. Tomato going all together in one dish and then we mix it like that. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. Also, it's <laughs> oh, so he's peeling the tomatoes? Yeah, they, they're taking their skin off. 
To start the mixed pulao, they got some grilled tomatoes and they peeled them and now they're mashing them or dicing them into small pieces, right? Lots of tomato juice everywhere. This is gonna be mixed with the rice, with the butter. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's, it's tabby, it's sumac. You see, it's red. Oh, sumac, sumac, sumac. The smell. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, I was full. Now I'm, I'm opening my appetite again. <laughs> It's operation. All oh, mixing together. Butter, tomato, so much. And the kebab is coming. No way. <laughs> All for David. We're gonna kill him in Iran before. <laughs> with food, with food. With food, I mean. with food. <laughs> And then he's gonna go on there? That's insane. He actually dices it up, right? He cuts it. <laughs> It slices the kebabs. Wow, look at all that lamb. <gasps> My mouth is seriously watering right now. <laughs> look at the juices of kebabs. Oof, oof. Tomatoes, it's amazing. Seriously, it's very creamy right now. Look at that, the oils, tomato, and then some more uh, sumac. More sumac. Yeah. more sumac. It's making it a bit soury. Yeah, but I love the color. It changes everything, right? Yeah. The redness. <laughs> Oh, now he mixes it together? Yeah. It's Irani uh, yeah, rice, yeah. right? It's Iran. one of the most expensive rices in Iran. Wow. You can see how big it is. Look. And the smell. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. It's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's so fresh, it came right out of that. It's the best rice in the world. Oh, he's putting more. Yeah, go for it. That's it? Can you shake it? He's gonna dance with it? Yeah, dance with it? <laughs> Can I try? Can I try? It's too hot. It's too hot for me. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, like this? Woo! Be careful. Be careful. I know, I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, it's a little finish, tough, finish, finish. but right, yeah, let's fix it. Finish. Perfect. Yes, this is yeah. so hot. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll try, I'll try my best. Hold on, catch. Oh. <laughs> Not messing with you guys. <laughs> Can I shake it as well? Shake it, shake it. Can I shake it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm shaking myself. <laughs> Whoa. <sighs> I like want to stick my hand in it. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Wow, look at all the mix. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, let's go. Let's go eat. Well, we're missing oh. the kebab. Wow, just straight onto the plate. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful. Yeah. More coming. No, no. And, and no more coming. No more. Oh, the chili, the chili. Oh, man, what a dish. <laughs> we still have one more? Cherry yeah. polo. It's, it's amazing. You're gonna love it. I gotta love it too. <laughs> so, cherry with rice. Wow, it's gonna be like a pink pulao. Yeah. Okay. Completely red. Man, that aroma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the smell coming out of there. And he's gonna add something else? Yeah. More cherries? Some juices. More Cherry juices. Juice. <laughs> I was just gonna heat it up a little bit. Yeah. A little simmer. Wow, beautiful rice. Gosh. He's gonna put the neck of the lamb in there? And that's it's cherry pulao. Woo! Where are we now? They're making the bread here. They're making the bread here? It's small sangek. Oh, I love this because this is, this is like the rocks, right? Yeah. Mini, the mini rocks. Sangek. Mini sangek. Yeah. So he's gonna grab the dough. Mm -hmm. With sesame seeds. I just left it there like that. Get up right here into this oven. Oh, the heat. <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. How do you say hot in, uh, in Farsi? Da. Da. Really da. Really da. I'm like melting away. Coffee, eh? Coffee, coffee. 
that's it. Oh, all the rocks fell, huh? Yeah. I'm sure it's delicious. Yeah. Okay, let's go eat. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. We have a lot of food to go. <laughs> okay, merci, 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 merci. Okay, let's go eat, guys. Three more dishes. Three more. Oh, that butter. I'm not a big butter guy, but wow. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Lamb with cherry pulao. Yeah, all polu polo. It's colorful, isn't it? So colorful. Incredible, man. Yeah. What is he doing? He's mixing the yogurt and the water together. Mmm. Mm. It's sour. Mmm. What is this? Pepper inside? No. It's just the yogurt. It's local yogurt. Yeah. Spicy and tingly. Yeah. Unique. So we've got Nick here. We've got onion. Cherry polo, uh, rice, and almond, mm -hmm. and pistachio. Perfect, so just mix it like that. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a mix of crunchy, sweet, fatty meat. Yeah. Love it. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm more look, than ready. Look at the color. Wow. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. The cherries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Mm. And that neck just falls apart. Mm. Mm. I've never had flavor like this in rice. No. All right, one last bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Mm. Bravo. But I know this one's gonna be. Yeah. Even better. Let's take it. Let's take it. Right here. <laughs> One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Oh Look at that. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a mountain. Oh. I guess it's going to go in one time, right? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. I'm like beyond ready. What am I grabbing here? You can have. Either back kebab or kubide. Yeah. Kubide. Let's go. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh my god. It's so moist. Oh, it's meaty. Try the bag, yeah. The bag. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. It's so soft, isn't it? It melts. Mm. The rice, the tomato throughout, mm. with the sumac. With the sumac, yeah. Sumac. It's a must have. Oh my gosh. And the name is made by Mr. Taster. Yeah. Mix pulao. I'm gonna get a tiny bit more, guys. Yeah? Like, yeah. this is too good. You gonna lift it? They're saying the main part is underneath. Oh, sure. Because of the butter, it's going down. Mm -hmm. So let's have this one. On the very bottom? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, piaz. It's so buttery. Yeah, it's so nice. Piaz. I'm making a food coma. You know that, mo that point where you're like, where's the bed? <laughs> This is even better than the cherry. Even really? better, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, way more flavor in here. Oh, so good, you like lamb, you'll love it. Yeah, it take it, take it. You, you eat it like uh, that. they want to eat it as a dessert. Oh yeah, you guys take it. Take so we make every single person, even the owner of restaurant, hungry. <laughs> we influence your hunger. <laughs> This is Eskele Kebab. Eskele. Which is one side is a mis, a mis or kubide, mm -hmm. the other side is bag kebab. Mr. More butter. Is he really doing that? <laughs> like, what is he doing to me? You need to mix it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much butter but in this country. This rice is. Even better. So like that. Wow. 
Eskele or izgere kebab, mm -hmm. which is minced meat on one side and back kebab on the other side. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have it with rice. Okay. Take some of the tomato. So the inside, right? Yeah. And chili, some chili. Okay. All together with rice. So all together like that. Oh wow. Okay. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's too good. Really? That's better. It's too yummy. It's so yummy. Mmm. It's like nice and smoky. The butter and the rice enhances yeah. the flavor even more, man. Yeah. And I love this little pepper. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not in my mouth. Not in my mouth. <laughs> this <laughs> one is a special. <laughs> wow. That was even better. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. So juicy. So juicy. Like bounces. Mr. Chaser, yeah. that is it, man. The ultimate yeah. uh, Irani food tour. We went to three spots. Oh my gosh. Again. <laughs> <laughs> lamb shank, lamb chops. We had. Um, then we had over here these three dishes. I mean, everything was so unique. Every dish was different from anything yeah. we had yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. My favorites well done, were everything. Everything. Well done. Home well done. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know any better, you would think I weighed way more than what I do. Where's the second stomach? <laughs> I should call myself as well. Many people telling me that you're you're looking like Danny DeVito. <laughs> So maybe one day I shave like you. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, but we're not there. <laughs> so I've done this around the world many times. I'm gonna get a haircut here in Iran. I shave. Full shave, full beard shave. Yeah, let's go let's for it. Let's do a little thing. Let's go. Let's and they have a surprise for me as well. Yeah, All right, sure. let's go inside. There's like a luxury barbershop right here. Ali Ali. Hey, my man. You. You're good, you look tired. Thank you. <laughs> and this is the guy. What's your name, my friend? Mehdi. Okay, Mehdi, let's do this. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna sleep right here. I'm excited. Let's see, hopefully they give me a little massage. I doubt it though. They were telling me here in Persia, there's no real massages at the barber shops. They don't really do that, but maybe do like a facial, maybe a little waxing. I'm ready. Oh, okay. Nice, let me put this guy here. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> no English, because he will find what we're going to do with him. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're funny. You're funny, man. He's, he's torching it? What's he doing? Oh! Oh! Oh, it's hot. <laughs> so hot here! What's happening? <laughs> I smell like burnt skin. <laughs> I've seen it in India. I didn't get it done in India, but I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So he basically just like burnt all my hair off the ears. This is like three weeks. Man, it does smell like burnt hair. My whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Shaving cream. It's funny, everybody's like, why do you get haircuts all over the world? You have no hair. <laughs> no, but the shave, the experience, you know? Ooh. It's going slow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels good. Mm -hmm. There's no better feeling than having that razor against my head. Wow. Mr. Chase, you never shave your head, right? You never shaved, right? You did? I mean, it would definitely change the way people see you. Yeah. I didn't like it. I like to be like 
like this. More Mr. Taster, you know? <laughs> Mr. Taster, you know, the thing is that he gets stuffed so much that if you shave his head, no one recognizes him. <laughs> oh man, that blade. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there on the top. That that always tickles right there. It's nice though. This guy's so delicate. He goes so slow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that a little more shaving cream? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, this is nice. Straight up, put me to sleep. Mm, right there. Mm -hmm. This is my therapy right here. Going to barbershop and telling him all my problems. Only problem is I can't speak with him. He doesn't speak English, no? No English. Espanol, Italiano. Niente. Nine. 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 <laughs> Oh, right there. You know how they learn in America how to shave heads? You know, the barbers? They get a balloon, shaving cream, and if you don't pop it, you could do it good. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I, I, the first you know, few months, I'd cut myself a lot in the shower. Now I could do it like with my eyes closed. I just do it. <laughs> now I do it myself. In the shower, like every other day, give it, a let, let it grow a little bit. Yeah, so easy because I just put shaving cream, and then I touch to see if I miss. Like, did he miss? Yeah, he missed a little bit. He's gonna have to do it a little bit more. Whoa. Ooh, that's ooh alcohol, huh? What do you think? So we go for full shave. If I have a full shave, man, I'm gonna change into a little kid. Good. 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 I'm gonna be your son tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said to him, make him ugly. So somebody would look at us as, as well. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys are good. What are you talking about? It's too much. Do you, want, do you want to shave or you okay? I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. After four days, five days, it will come It'll back. come back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Yes, he's gonna wax my nose and my ears. 
Това I did this like three weeks ago. Oh, that's hot. Oh. So the purpose of this is to take all those extra little hairs out of the ears and the nose. As you get older, you grow a lot in both. Oh, that's hot. Look at that. My ear is full of hot, hot wax. Oh, the other ear now. Salam, Oh. <laughs> it's hot. Dude, it's like scorching. It's good though, it's gonna take off all those little hairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you gotta do it too, man. Ah. Ah. Alright, the nose now. Oh. Oh. He looks funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> fire in the beginning. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, it's fire everywhere, man. I told you, we kill you before you I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, look at that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crying. <laughs> Let's get this one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. That hurts. That, that hurts. <gasps> Feels like he pulled out all the wax out of my ear. <laughs> like my real wax, you know. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Dude, uh, I better like, <laughs> I hope I don't bleed. Are you saying it? Um, I mean, wait one minute or two minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is for the blackheads. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> no, that, that really hurt the nose, man. You're happy. You're crying. <laughs> I'm like laughing on fire. Oh my god. You ready? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Good man. I can breathe. Yeah. Yeah, I can breathe. <laughs> oh, he's gonna pull that off. Oh. That was hot wax. Oh, it's good. Now I'm clean for a few days, right? Yeah. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. No more, right? No more. Oh, yeah, bro. Well, my nose. Oh, it's bleeding. That was so clean, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good, bro. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. <laughs> all right, after that amazing wax experience, he's going to wash my head now. Okay, okay. Mr. Chase was outside with fans laughing. He's funny. Okay, let's go. Oh, I feel like everything hurts. Ali, what do you think? Crazy, right? Oh, that was crazy. Something. It's very nice experience. I told you, man. It's a must. It's my first time I see the wax job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the wax job is right. I look like a very young man. I know, I told you, I dropped it, literally told you, this is crazy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Can you use that? Yeah, right there, okay. Yes. Yeah. What is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a head massage, man. Oh. Oh. 
Ah, ich wollte weichen, wo ich schon alles sehr schön da sei. Oh mein Gott. Potter? Oh, that was good, that was good. Oh, I didn't really think. There's some bites here. Yeah. Is it what? Yeah, that's a damn. It's okay. Oh, massage. Oh. oh my gosh. This is what it's about, guys. This is why I did the haircut experience mm -hmm. every country. Oh. Oh. oh, my shoulders. 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 Oh, 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 it's aftershave. Oh, hot, hot, tingly. <laughs> my man, my man, that was amazing. Amazing. What do you think, good? So what do I owe him? I don't even know. What did I drop, 20 years? That's it? <laughs> Literally, I am a chameleon. When I remove the hair, I drop 10, 15 years. I'm really 36 when I look. Nah, I look like 25, 25. 25, yeah. Mr. Taser, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Thank I'm a kid now. Yeah, I'm a kid. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, that was the ultimate Irani or Irani haircut experience. Did you like it? Oh, I loved it, man. I loved it. This was amazing. Got a head shave, beard trim. Got the wax. The wax was the ultimate part of this experience. And then the massage at the end. You didn't even see him, man. When he, when he washed my head. Oh, right, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Wait a minute.